What's up, YouTube? Baseball Card Junkies TV here. Top City 5401. Titanic Taters. <laughs> so we're hanging we're hanging out in the man cave here. We will see. We we may or may not archive this one. You don't have a what? Yeah, we probably I don't have a catchy intro. Oh, yeah. You need to come up with one right here on Baseball Card Junkies right. TV. Anyways, and we'll see how the uh, Wi-Fi holds up. Hopefully it'll hold up well. And Eric, I don't know if you want to show what you picked up today. But we uh, we went on a card shop tour. How many card? Yeah, we went to five, <laughs> five card local shops, sh today. local card shops today. Y'all got problems. Yeah, we got problems. No, and we loved every minute of it. Yeah, so I'll, actually, yeah, I can I can show off what I got they, first. You know, uh, yeah, go for it. Uh, Programs. We'll wait. We'll wait a few minutes. We'll hang out here because nobody's on with us right now. It's Friday night. People are actually uh, probably uh, People do, do nobody's gonna get on. Do you know why? Why? Because our fucking channel is set to adult. You set it to adult? Yeah. Isn't that what we were supposed oh, to yeah, do? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We're good, yeah. Yeah, we're good. But it's not popping up on my subscriptions. Really? Dude, you gotta, this you needs to be shown. Bam! All right, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut off on this one. and Oh, no, no. Just let it go. All right. We'll just, like, say we're live. All right, yeah, anyways, we don't know what we're... I actually know some people are jumping on now, right so... There. That's the goal. <laughs> All right, so uh, so Eric, you want to show what you got off first today? You want to show mine first? So yeah, Eric, Eric, and I, this Eric and I, we went right. to five card shops here. We're get, we're getting ready to go to that McGuire signing tomorrow. I don't know if they want to see that. Yeah, I'll just show it to them anyways. All right, here. All right, let's see. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? Uh, I want to get let's see. Any, uh, Say it like you mean it, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, say it like you mean it. Got a bunch of PC stuff today. We got Eric Chavez. So excited. Jersey card. Well, we have four people in here. Dennis Eckersley signature. Getting, um, since I'm not since I'm not gonna get X signature tomorrow, I had to buy one today. Oh <laughs> man! Yeah. Now this is this one's this one's very cool. <clears throat> this made my day because I got this McGuire numbered to twenty five. What year? That is a. I'm pretty sure it's a 2002. Nice. Yes. Yeah. So those are those are tough to find. You don't see too many. O2 McGuire's. We got that at. Oh, that's the that's coin the store. No, I got this. Jason Giambi jersey card. Which Eric said he just ordered. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, uh, McGuire Chrome. I got a hacksaw card, man. I don't even remember getting this Giambi. Do you? Yeah, know where I, I don't even remember where I got this card, but I guess I picked it up because I don't have it. <laughs> <laughs> this Tim Hudson, just because it was numbered to 99. Oh, yeah, it's uh, Royal Court Big Mac. Oh, is this the... Uh... Um, <laughs> Nate and I actually got oh, free... Vita blue autographs to the store just because I don't think the guy wanted to uh, bring us up. We bought a bunch of stuff. Got a Chapman. I I don't think another McGuire. Tejada jersey. Giambi relic and all right, drum roll, guys. Drum roll. The okay, big card. Drum roll. The big card. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Man, you couldn't wait until tomorrow to get another a McGuire auto on your know, collection. Right? I know, right? I know, right? 2019 Dynasty, number 10. So, got a great deal on this. I was I was very happy. This is what you call stealing thunder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bam! Wait, wait, wait. Pow! Right in the kisser. Pow! Right in the kisser. <laughs> Where's the serial? Oh, oh, oh. Where is it? I right there, know. down that. What does that say right there? One of one, one of one, one of one. Oh, you got a one of one, right? Really? 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 Oh, join the one of one. You're going to go there? Club. You're going to steal, right, steal my... Th wait, wait. Oh, gotta, oh, yeah. You I got to show the stuff. One. Oh, I got to yeah. show the one. <laughs> oh, oh, but you don't got a McGuire Hot Wheels. <laughs> with I, the, that is true. With the, with the parallel. Yeah, the exclusive. Uh, uh, exclusive. Yeah, so I'll, I'll show off what I got today. 
Whoa, real quick. All right, I got a little stack here in, uh, in the five card shops. I hope I got everything here. So the first pickup I'm gonna show off, I got in Petaluma at the Strike Zone and got this beautiful Bonds Fleer Platinum. And this one is numbered 20 out of 100. So I was able to pick up a couple of Bonds cards that I don't have, so that was cool. Oh, I forgot about these cards too. Okay, and then Eric, Titanic Taters, laid this card on me today. I didn't get it at a card shop, but he had doubles on this one. And Oakland A's 915 didn't have it, so it ended up my collection. Oh, no, this is what Nate was looking for. And then I got this beautiful Mike Piazza. I'm going to take this out of the case. Look at the shine on this card. Oh, man. Check out the shine on this Mike Piazza. Absolutely. Let's see if I get the shine going here. The refracted shine. Love this card, though, the Power Players. Uh, I think it's 99 top, no, 2000 tops Chrome. Mike Piazza. So that's that was a cool card there. And then um, I got this Manny Ramirez, Fleer Mystique. Uh, and this one's numbered to 100. This card's beautiful. This is what, th these are the kinds of pickups you could do when you're doing box rummages. I found this at Bill's Coins in Petaluma. In a box rummage. So I got that one. And then I got this one in San Rafael at Diamond Sports Cards. A triple threads. Number to 36. And then this is a cool for all you guys in the 90s group. You'll appreciate this card. It's an elite status. Brent Boone, number to 24. I mean, just cards like this. I got I to gotta rescue them from the... Uh, from the boxes, you know, and get them into to the hands of collectors that will appreciate these cards. Actually, this card is spoken for to a big Mariners fan. And then I picked up a card I already have because, as you guys know, I don't have a checklist. The Barry Bonds Hideo Nomo Duel. So, anyway, I got that one. This card, I got another elite status. Aspirations, number 9 of 52. Of the great Tory Hunter. So that's a cool card. Love that card. Man, I just, I love rescuing these older inserts, man. And put them in collections that can appreciate them. And then I'm always on the, uh, the hunt for Jeters. And I, I picked up a 2004 Donruss Elite uh, Extra Edition. Derek Jeter, number to 250. That card is sweet. Anytime you get some die-cut Jeter action. Yeah, so that that one's awesome, and then <laughs> I I didn't I don't have a top Lee Smith rookie, so I, you know I'm a junkie, right? I had to add one of those into my collection, and then I, I you know a dollar box find here a JT Snow Black Refractor from Topps Chrome, and then a beautiful Dennis Eckersley Gypsy Queen Mini number to ninety nine, and then I got a Vita Blue. In person autograph card, just like Eric did. And the last pickup, <laughs> I'm gonna take a hacksaw to this card. <laughs> when, when we're done uh, going live, I'm gonna take a hacksaw to this card. Not the card, but to the slab. I do not like the, the bootlegged slab. However, the card is beautiful. It's a 1996 Penith, uh, Pinnacle Zenith. I said Penith, I don't know what the hell. But it's a di uh, it's a diamond, the diamond. It has a little diamond in it, right there. You just said penis. I know. I meant to say zenith. Oh, that's oh, anyway, these guys are laughing at me because I'm an idiot. But there we go. <laughs> that, that card is absolutely sick, man. That Matt Williams, and uh, yeah, I got I got I got to crack this biatch out of a slab. I'll film it. And then I'm going to put it in a mag because this, this shit, I just can't deal with the bootlegged this slab. Is, but anyways, yeah, those are my pickups. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long day, man. Been a long so anyway, those are the pickups. And then we were going to, we were going to do a topic. I don't know if we'll do a topic on this live feed because we're, we're mostly just bullshitting and hanging out. Look at this. This is a sick card. Oh, yeah. The gold refractor. Yeah, but it's not the embossed.
No, it is not the embossed. <laughs> yeah, still sick. that's it, sick as which hell. Which one is that? Uh, 97 gold, uh, the rare refractor. Oh, wait, you didn't show the embossed refractor? <laughs> you got the, oh, wait, wait, you wait, have wait. the 97 <laughs> silver embossed? Somewhere. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, damn, dude. <laughs> Did you... Where do you get this one from? That's the one I was like... I was like... Man, this card is I, sick. I, say is like, I was like, 95 bucks, good deal? He's like... Buy it now. So so that me? No, he did. Oh, oh okay. Like, All right. God, that card is just beautiful. Yeah, for sure. Look at that shine. Look at that glare. Look at that glare. Here, we'll move the camera over that here glare. now. <laughs> look, at <all. laughs> look at that glare. Just look at it. Look, would you look at the glare? Anyway, at the shine, really. You're going to no, need anyway. to. Uh... Oh, I forgot about this, too. Oh, yeah. See, this is like cool for the man cave. Because you can hang it on the wall, right? Like, it's a Giants team set, Premier Edition, Top Stadium Club Giants team set. It's got bonds. This is like a cellophane wrap team set with bonds on the front and wheel the thrill on the back. So that's kind of a cool oh, thing as well. Like 1997 goes on over here. Dude. This is like, this is, that's like all man, man. What, do we, what do we got? What do we got here? I know what these are. Look at these two guys, man. Oh, I'm looking through, uh, I'm what are you guys doing? Eric's McGuire hits. Oh, okay. Damn! Look at those. Wow. Damn. Yeah, those are sick. <laughs> now, now you're going to start wanting to collect that kind of stuff, huh? Right? This one. <laughs> you're like, oh, very, man, maybe oh, I do want autographs. Man. I remember this card. Yeah, that one's cool. This Which came one? out not too long ago, huh? Oh, yeah, I remember when Eric got that card. That's a cool card. Oh. Very nice. That looks so much better than his original 90 tops. I hate that card. Oh, really? Why? I don't I don't like the colors. Oh. <laughs> is it is it green? No. It's is not it, a green border. Is it the no. red border? It's like orange. It's like and orange and red. Or oh, that's weak. It's it's horrible. Canseco's was green and yellow. And yeah, that's the way it should it be. <laughs> yeah, and like Griffey blue. has the blue and blue border one with the gold that's cup. Right. Yeah, I remember right? that. Anyway, so if there's anything you guys want to talk about, I'll read the comments while you guys are uh, doing a, a Titanic Taters rummage. Here, I'll put that down. No, we, I'm right. oh, so, yeah, if you guys have anything you want to talk about uh, that, is, that are watching this live, we're just kind of goofing around, really. Dude, are you serious? I was like, no, I don't have any one-on-ones. And he's like, here you go. Damn, here's dude. my scene. I'm actually kind of happy <coughs> to do that one. Like 2016 or 15, How many autos do you have dude, of him, Eric? I'm pretty sure you got more autos than I do. Um, I'm actually, yeah. Um, look at that. Yeah. Those are nice. So as many of you guys may or may not know, we will be going live tomorrow as well. We're going to go to a signing with Mark McGuire and Dave Stewart, Albert Poolholz, Dennis Eckersley. So, and then Smitty, if you guys know who Smitty is, he's going to be hanging out with us as well. Smitty. Smitty. Oh. That'll be cool. Oh, we're going to go to the A's Museum afterwards. We are? Yeah, Smitty's house. Oh, yeah. Dude, yeah. <laughs> the A's Duh. Museum. Right? The private museum. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. going to be sick. He's got a lot of A's stuff. Game news like... jerseys. Oh, dude, I didn't realize so. you got like that. You got that picture. Uh... Yeah, we're hoping we could get a pool hole auto, but like as of right now, he's sold out. So we're gonna wait till tomorrow to find out if we'll actually be able. But we already bought our McGuire tickets, so. I want to hold our breath for pool holes. Oh man, Henry S says he can remember taking Beckett's to the Here's dump to recycle lineup. tons of them. Man, you know one of the Beckett's I had when I was a kid that I regret getting rid of is the Bo Jackson black and white photo that's on the 1990 scorecard i had that beckett and i wish i had it man i've been i, I would love to replace that beckett that you guys remember that beckett i do yeah it would have been a good one to keep. damn man i don't know why i got rid of that damn beckett man so i might have at my mom's house i might have the ones with uh McGuire in the 80s. Oh, really? I have a few with McGuire on it. Yeah, I got like Griffey, McGuire, and uh, Bonds Beckett covers mostly. Dude, how many autos do you have? I don't know, a few. 
<laughs> Over or under 20? Over. 30. I'm not sure. Could be close. Ah, oh, dude. Ray says he has all his Beckett's. Who's that? So, I, I collect each other. Yeah. What's up, Ray? What's up? Uh, Ray is a, Ray's a so, cool dude. Yeah. He's a cool dude with a killer collection. Oh, okay. So Henry S. has all the Mattingly Beckett's. How many Beckett's? He, I bet you he's got at least 10 covers because he was popular in the 80s. Shh, the hit man. Yeah. Dude. Man, you remember when his 84 like Dunruss was like, we, like the card to get? Yeah. All right, let's look. Let's see how many autos I have. Uh, so Brian wants to know if... Do, do, you, do you guys remember Tough Stuff? I remember Tough Stuff. I, I never looked at it, though. I only looked at Beckett. When I was a kid, I remember Baseball Card Magazine. I remember Beckett. Yeah, there was another publication called Tough Stuff. I honestly don't remember that. Yeah. In the eighties or nineties? Uh, it was the eighties up until the to to the, probably the early to mid nineties or something like that. Yeah, I don't. They didn't really use Tough Stuff where I grew up. Every all the card shops I went to only had Beckett. But I mean, I have heard of it before. Everybody was all about Beckett, and they charged. In the card shops, charge the Beckett hard high price. That was the. That I remember was, when the Beckett was magazine was like two ninety nine or something, to yeah. to get the whole price guide. Anyway. Oh, did you show these? I don't know what. Are, oh yeah, these are the cards I'm gonna get signed when I go to uh, meet McGuire and Stewart tomorrow. So of course I'm gonna get the uh, top eighty five four zero one signed. To. Got to get that one, so I'm going to get it in blue Sharpie. And then the Dave Stewart, this is a memorabilia card of Dave Stewart. And right here it says Classic Careers. This is commemorating his 89 World Series MVP. I'm going to get Dave Stewart to sign right down there. And if I can get pool holes, I'm going to get this rookie card signed here. And I'm debating, I don't know, I don't know how, if Red will show up. Well, I think you ought to do blue, man. Yeah, I think I probably will just go to blue. I think if it was a black and white card, yeah, I, I think red might be a little risky, it might not show up very well. I, I probably will go blue. McGuire autographs, yeah, I'm pretty sure. You, yeah, you got so, anyways, those are the cards I plan. What which cards are you getting signed, Eric? The ones I that brought with me on the plane. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm oh, wait a minute, I forgot I had a couple more. Uh, <sighs> no, I carried I carried these on to make sure that Dude, they you're didn't like, get lost in you're my like luggage. one of those people like. They just have like cards everywhere, <laughs> right? Look, oh, like oh, you uh, for my man, Triple Crown twenty four. Oh yeah, you bought that JT, one for him. Got that for you, bud. Uh, gonna believe I didn't have that, but this is what I am getting signed. Classic eighty nine upper deck. The reason I'm getting this is because of eighty nine. Last time the A's won the World Series, and uh, just a. Just a really cool looking and card. And how did you acquire that card, Eric? I'm 99.9% fr I'm .9 sure that I pulled this in a pack. I got a what year? 89. Okay, so how long have you had it for? 30 years, man. <laughs> jeez. Yeah. Oh, jeez. That's crazy. You know, so when you say it like that, yeah, I was like, oh, what? 30. oh, man. <laughs> Actually, know, let's I see. Know. I can't remember which Stewart I picked out. I remember I was I wanted to get an 89 Stewart, but I didn't like I didn't really like the picture as much, so... I changed it to to a 92. Dave Stu. 92? Dave Stu. Oh, that's a good one. Right? Yeah, that's Smoke. a good card. What are you getting signed by Stu? Oh, you're getting a baseball. I'm getting a baseball signed by Stewart and a jersey signed by McGuire. But I'm not going to get this signed after all. Wah, wah, wah. What? Oh, Eckersley? Well, unless the, the tickets are unless it, indeed it, available, yeah, I guess. We'll see. That's kind of a bummer, but you know, well, it's not the end of the world. We're getting, we're all getting Mac. That's for sure. Yeah. That's faux shizzle. <laughs> all right, man. We'll you want to show? You want to show any more uh, McGuire cards, Eric? Eh. Eric, so like, I'm bored of my own collection, so. I'm, I'll show. Yeah. I know what you mean, though. When you, you know. What? When you get when you get bored of your own collection, you gotta start buying. You gotta start buying more cards so that you're. <laughs> Is that right? Hype on your collection again because it's never good enough. I think you got a good. Let's see if anybody says anything. Oh look it! 
There's a Dave Stewart autograph right there. I know. Yeah. You know, uh, Smitty got that for me. Yeah, I remember watching Smitty's video. Yeah, the there's a video of that, that rally card being signed on Smitty's channel. Oh, hey, check this out. What? A's fan Jim said, did you see that Marcus Simeon signed for 13 million? Is that what I said? Oh, damn. What Jim, I am super glad that Simeon is going to stay around because uh, he is actually from the same city that my family is from, El Cerrito, who I'm actually out here uh, visiting my grandma as well as uh, my good friends, Nate and Eric. Yep, and I so, went to El Cerrito High. Yeah. I, I got a Letterman jacket to prove it. And if you want to see it... Yeah, he was going to wear it to my grandma's. If you want to see it, I'll go grab it right now. <laughs> He said he was going to wear it to my grandma's house. Today. Yeah, I almost wore it just to uh, just to get a laugh out of her. <laughs> she would have decided not to at the last second. No, she would have been all polite about it and thought you were being serious. Oh, like, oh that's no. a very nice jacket, Nate. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh Eric, you need these? My grandma did get to tell Nate this morning about uh, how in 1998... What? So my grandparents were both uh, Ace yeah, fans corner. and yeah. um, oh, McGuire fans. Oh. So... When oh, Mac was one, traded to two, the Cardinals, um, they were on a vacation, yeah. and they just happened to be in St. Louis, and one. they decided uh, yeah, to catch a game with, uh, to see uh, McGuire yeah. and La Russa. I did not see McGuire in 98. That uh, <laughs> was like one of the few years I didn't. Oh, hey, you were going to go get your jacket. Oh, okay. They want to <laughs> see my letter jacket? Let's see if anybody says anything else. Yeah, they why in the world does Nate still have his high school jacket? I got my jacket. I got my Letterman jacket. It doesn't fit. <laughs> there it is. The relic, baby. <laughs> the relic. Oh, that's funny. You, you know what we could you know what we could do? We could Oh man, this thing is so I gotta get it dry clean. Did it this thing You're is on the swim nasty. team. Yeah, I know. Wow, crazy. Yeah, I swam I, I gotta get I, I never got all my shit on here, but uh, there it yeah, is. I could still fit in oh, it. Oh, man. That's crazy. Oh, dude. What? <laughs> the A's in the late 80s were the best ever. Heck, yeah, they were. <laughs> that was, let's see. Until they broke up that team. I guess Conseco was probably the first to go. That was kind of Ricky good. went to the Blue Jays. Yeah. Stewart went to the Blue Jays. Oh, hi, Zoe. Come here, Zoe. Come on. What's up, Zoe? No, no, I don't want her <laughs> Oh, she, yeah, she gets all excited, huh? Yeah. Oh, she can't contain her excitement. Come on, Eric. She has this. Uh, yeah, you got to do some Come over here and oh. chit chat for a minute. I'm going to do a box rummage. I'm going to look through some more of your cards. Oh, through more of your Maguire collection. Oh, okay. Oh, I got my Maguire collection. You, can look through. you know what? I saw yours the last time. Oh, well, then look I through yours. I looked through your whole binder. Yeah, look through Titanic Taters then. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Trying to keep up. Do you use your left hand to conjure the dead? I have no idea what he's talking about. Yeah. Oh, I'm pretty sure. Oh. I'm actually probably pretty sure that's what he's talking about. Okay. <laughs> oh. That card yeah. looks so much better in a magnetic. Yeah. Anyway. I don't know. Do we want to do a topic while we're on? Oh. Okay, what's the Maybe topic? We can always, like, educate people or at well, least entertain them. If there's Maguire fans on here, they'll oh, like, man, they'll like the this episode. Crusade. You better <laughs> yeah, watch pretty... it, Eric. <laughs> Someone might bonk you over the head. Take that, then. Man, you know I'm <laughs> I got number 100 of 100. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I, there's a green one in there, too. I got a purple too. Yeah, I wonder if mine. Dude, you no, know, I've seen the one of 100 bonds on uh, before, but I don't have it, of course. I don't know which one mine is. I can't remember. And you call yourself a Barry Bond super collector. He is. I don't know if I'm a super collector, but. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, Yeah. If you aren't a Barry Bond super collector, what are you? Just a fucking junkie. Player collector. <laughs> <He's> de <laughs> Nate is definitely a junkie. Yeah. That's Nate is definitely a junkie. Today he was getting cards like, like yeah, I showed off my pickups. So. Dude, yeah. People that saw what I got will know that I'm a junkie. Yeah, that's for sure. Uh, well, I needed that Lee Smith rookie. Yeah, who? Yeah. <laughs> needed. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, Eric. 
just for whatever. I got one in my set, so I guess I already have one. But you also yeah. needed that JT Snow card. Yeah, no, nah, that's not <laughs> why I got that card. Because it was a black refractor. That's what oh, I got. got it. <clears throat> yeah. You got it because it was a black refractor. Pretty and, much, yeah. Well, that makes sense. <laughs> and you got to buy a black refractor when you see it. Yeah. Oh, oh. What do, what do we got here? Why do you got, why do you got this card, Eric? It's <laughs> a McGuire card? But let me see it. I'd, oh, I came yeah. up with my yeah. You gotta show that. Did so show I that? came up with yeah. my YouTube name before so I it's even a knew that existed. No, That's seriously. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I got the Bonds Titanic. Oh. What? Oh man. Yeah, yeah, we were talking about that very card uh, tonight, or, yep. or maybe when we were. There's a gem right there. I do not have that. That is. That's a sweet one. Yep, the uh, essential credentials. Uh, to answer Yankees Jets fan seven one, that is not how I came up with my name. I came up with my name because I was a Mark McGuire super collector, and he hit Titanic Taters. Ah, is that how? But you didn't know about the that uh, insert you, set, huh? But you didn't. Know I didn't know about the insert set. No kidding, huh? Uh, Damn, Yankees dude. Jets fans, that's Mike. Mike Gutierrez. Oh, is he a Yankees Jets fan? Yeah. No. Did he change his YouTube name? Yeah, he changed his name. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, there you go. I did not know that. Who we'll changed your... Mike. What's up, Mike? Your... Mike. Mike, you did this? Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice. Hard hardcore Yankee fan. That dude goes to a lot of games, man. He said you have the... <laughs> said you have the Jacques Cousteau look going on tonight, Nate. That's what they said. <laughs> What is happening? Oh, Jacques Cousteau. Oh, Jacques, I, I forgot I had this beanie on. You don't know who Jacques Cousteau is? Nope. He was like a uh, was it from the ocean... Pink, uh, wasn't it from the Pink Panther? No, that's... No. Uh, Jacques Cousteau was like a, a marine biologist, oceanographer. Like... <laughs> Who's... Why the you hell? don't know this? Yeah, I don't what, know. Did you it, guys man. not go to school? Or watch like KQED when you were kids or anything? I'll tell you about astrophysics, but as far as like marine biology, I'm clueless. Yeah. He was like a big, uh, put like, he was one of the very first people I was really pushing for, like, like for us to stop treating the ocean like crap. Oh, okay. Mm. No, he, that, that, he, of course Mike knows that one. That's yeah. Lieutenant Clouseau. Or an oh, inspector. Oh, so. <laughs> <laughs> of, course, of course, he knows Same that. Guy. <laughs> so, if you, hey, if everybody here that's watching us live, if you want us to uh, do a topic, we, we can't think of one. So, suggest some no. topics, and I'll let Eric choose which topic we'll discuss. Well, yeah, I tell him about the cop topic I, idea I come up with, just for you guys to. What, the, the uh, side idea. PC? Yeah, I was like... Yeah, but I then we did that on the essential yeah, credentials you know, the other night. It. So my <laughs> brain has been stuck on that because it was like, I thought I had this brilliant idea. What was your idea? Let's do the side PC. And then the day after... Well, like, the essential credentials already had the idea, but I was thinking the same thing. And then they did it. Yeah. I woke so up one morning after, after I thought I came PC up with this like, brilliant like idea. Like six months ago with yeah. Larry Walker. Yeah. yeah, you started that. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, that's true. You did. There's no... What, hap what, what happened with that, Eric? What's it's what an unbinder. What happened? What happened? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> in my closet. I haven't seen it. I haven't picked up a single Larry Walker but, So, Larry I'm like, Walker... So, I hit like... I was like, all right, I have 500 Larry Walker cards now. It's time to like, stop. Yeah. And I, was, I, was like, I was like... I would send him like cool, rare, rare Larry Walkers that like were really cheap, dude. Like, hey, check this out, you know, because yeah. I'm always looking at 90s cards, you know, and I've come across the Larry Walkers. I'd send him over his way. He's like, nah. Are people nah. calling suggestions, Eric? Uh, there's uh, one. <laughs> uh, so, Larry Walker's out, Mike Schmidt. Top 10 Reddit. favorite cards under $25. Oh, man. That, I, 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 I. 1985 top smart require. Yeah, top 85 401. <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, let's see what else is there. Um, uh, how about the uh, 87 Fleer Barry Bonds rookie card? Is that under $25 now? Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> oh, what other cards? I don't know if I'm going to be able to make this conversation. Why not? Because he doesn't buy cards <laughs> under $25. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there are so many cards under $25. Well, I don't know how you could possibly do a top. That's uh, what we're kind of talking about today, is that that's what I want to get, what I need to get more of this year. It's like $20. Like, yeah, because yeah. yeah, like, I got like, so much of the yeah. high end and base cover, but I don't have those. Oh, you know, someone said 89 Don Russ Caribou Jr. I can agree with that one. Yeah, that one's a pretty. Uh, For sure. That's a, good looking card. Card. That's a good looking card. How about the Billy Ripken fuckface card? You <laughs> can't get that from He was trying dollars. to make me buy that today. <laughs> because <laughs> I <laughs> need one. <laughs> I, I do you not have, have one. one. Dude, Billy Ripken, he's not, he's not in a in an A's uniform. It <laughs> doesn't belong in my and, collection. Like, oh, to be sure. honest, he wasn't Look, even really a good player. Mac is the only one allowed in my collection that's not in an A's uniform. <laughs> so. All right. Well, I would put that <laughs> in the top. Card, top do you player. have, let's see. Uh, who can we think of? Well, do you have any Mark Simeon rookie cards? No. No? No. I don't have any Simeon rookie cards. Mm. Oh, you can put that on the, the White Sox. Sox. How about Josh Donaldson? Do you have any of his minor league cards? Come on, man. It would have, it would have been in the A. He was in the A system, so, I mean, that counts. But he was on the Cubs. In the, the He was drafted by the Cubs. Josh Donaldson? Yeah, he was originally this, drafted by the Cubs. This is first one. I don't have any Cubs. No, it's, no, the it's only because I have that. I have. You know what? Doesn't he have his catching gear in the in the picture? Yeah. Yeah, I have that, but no, the Mike Yeah, his pre pre rookie stuff. I didn't realize that. Like oh, we got more suggestions stuff. coming up there. Eric. Oh. <clears throat> it says uh, triple crown two four. <laughs> JT says, JT. says you have you actually have a secret Maglio or Donia's collection. <laughs> it's because it's because JT knows I can't stand that dude because of uh, 06 uh, um, Houston Street gave up a home run to the Maglio or Donia's. He played for JT's that? White Sox, didn't he? Yeah, JT's. Been... JT's. I mean, Tigers. Um, the Tigers. <laughs> I see. I'm tired. The Tigers. He, he played, did play for the Detroit White Sox. Though, Tigers. Yeah. He did, yeah, he did play on the White Sox. Yeah. Yeah. Houston uh, Street. Let's UT, see. UT Austin. Someone asked, uh, "Do we think is Jeter going to get a hundred percent for the Hall of Fame?" Ooh, I would say that more likely than not, he will. Yeah. And I looked at the Hall of Fame tracker yesterday, and as of yesterday, he was at a hundred percent. Is Walker still above eighty percent? Um, he's okay. like right around eighty per. I think he was like eighty five percent. Yeah, I think he's getting. He's in probably this gonna year. get in. I think. Where was Bonds? Like seventy seven. Really? I think. Yeah. I think this is his year. I think. No, nah, dude. You he don't think so? Out. No. No. Nah, he was the about this the, close the last ballots. Year. He was. Oh really? Like, he was, he was all, about this. All the ballots that aren't <clears throat> Schilling's not getting in. He might. Dude. No, he's not even a Hall of Famer. Like he's not even a Hall of Famer in the first place. He wasn't a Hall of Famer anyway. Well, I would, I wouldn't. I mean, like Walker, if he gets in, it it won't bother me. Um, if Schilling got in, it wouldn't bother me. But who the? Oh yeah, Ted Simmons. He got in. Oh, yeah. He's in. I didn't even know who he was when I was a kid, and he played when I was a kid. You know, I remember somebody reading off his stats and talking about him. I was like, damn, yeah, this is a pretty good. Yeah, he was a good, good ball player, good I ball guess. Player, yeah. yeah, he was good. I guess he was like the top. I mean, I didn't see him play, but. When did he retire? Like, 87. Oh, okay, see, that makes sense, because that's about the year I, like, I really. Here's a good one. Really. What, what is your favorite card that you didn't purchase yourself, given to you as a gift or in a care package? Oh, uh, Eric, do you have that? Which you one? have You have it with you right now? Which card? With the one that you're just saying, the question. No, that was the question. Oh yeah, yeah I haven't know. answered it yet. Oh Did yeah, you have I think I've it? had some good, good ones. Um, damn, I have to think about that one. The first one that comes to my mind is from Triple Crown Twenty Four. He gave me that Matt Chapman auto. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, that was that was sick. That I was, would think it would be that Fifty Four Bowman oh, Willie Mays. Well, that you know what. I won that in a contest, so... Oh, yeah, technically. 
That wasn't a That is a sick card, though, dude. Doesn't Another count card. if it's one in a contest. Uh, man, let me think. So give it so to you someone gave it to you out of the dude, goodness got, of their people heart. People have given me a lot of very cool cards. Jason gave me a freaking Ricky Henderson rookie card. I feel like if I answer this question, I'm going to hurt somebody's feelings. No, nobody cares. The reason I remember um, Chapman so much is because... Well, in that case, it's definitely not crazy. anything Nate has ever given me. <laughs> what? No, I, I, I mean, didn't. sorry, Jacques Cousteau. Dude, are you serious? I didn't know you had this card. I didn't know I had that card either. You didn't know you had no, this card? I did. Dude, it's a... Uh, okay, I do probably have it. That's a, that's a nice, nice card, one. but... Would be... I'll show you the best card I ever gave you. Wait, are we showing you the best Dang, card sweet. we were ever like given, or just like our favorite card? Uh, it's not even in here. I would say the best card I was ever given would probably be this, uh, this one. It's a uh, top stack. Tops high tech autograph of McGuire. Where's your ninety where's your ninety eight finest snow protector truck? Dude, that's in uh my you know, box. Oh, is it graded? It graded right? Oh yeah, okay, I forgot. Yeah. Anyway, that's probably the best one I I love that card. You gave that to me? Yeah. Well, I have two of them. Oh, okay. It was the one that it was like the, the first time have, we ever met. It doesn't right? have the refractor on the back. Oh, was, yeah, mine, was, mine's the same. Error, right? mine, mine's the cool same. No yeah, R. Actually, there's actually a whole bunch of different variations. Of that <clears> yeah, because they really mine has screwed up. up that. Yeah, mine mine doesn't have an R on the back either. There's a the one that I have. There's a lot of variations of that card where, like, it's supposed to be refractive on both sides, but mm -hmm. I've heard there's like some they're refractive on the back, not on the front. Oh no, no, they did that on purpose. One was so a they, refractor, and one was a no protector refractor. The no protector refractor was refractive on both sides. Right, but, yeah, but they did that on purpose. No, he's but saying then some also... are on the back, but not on oh, the front. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, yeah. <laughs> Come on, Lieutenant Clouseau. <laughs> or Inspector Clouseau. Yeah, no, they were... Yeah. Also, you know what? I don't know if that's just McGuire, though. I don't know if Bonds' cards are like that. I know that... How many tattoos are represented on the three guys in the room? Well, I got three. Eric, do you have any? Titanic Taters? Yeah, I have a tattoo of a dick on my butt. I can't believe you just said <laughs> that. <laughs> so I, I, hope, I hope they could We're still for adults. That. I hope they could. You oh can't get God. to our channel anymore. You can't even search us. You, you don't even get how notifications many, many? when we're posting videos. I, I No, I, I don't have any tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that was like random. <laughs> Holy crap. I you guys both look at me like, what, what are you serious? Your no, no, no. You get ready to kick your ass. You know, whatever. sometimes you just kept get tattoos that you end up later in life, you know, wishing you'd never gone in, okay? Dude, I got a ton of those. <laughs> yeah, I got, so do I. I, got, I, I got a bunch of those tattoos, trust me, but that's all right. I don't, uh, you probably couldn't even count the tattoos that are on Eric here. No, I don't, I don't know how many. I got more than 20. That, that, that'll be the my answer. Whole, almost my whole upper body is covered. <laughs> he has more tattoos than I have Mark McGuire autographs. <laughs> <laughs> so what other? Funny. And I'm still trying to think of the, like, the, the coolest card that was ever sent to me. Man, I got a lot, a lot of us over the years, man. I'm just trying I to do want to get a tattoo, though. Dude, I, 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 I want to get a tattoo of Owen's baby handprint on my chest. Really? That's mm -hmm. a cool one. That's really oh, cool. okay. I just don't Tater want to tats. spend 500 bucks to do it. Is that how much that kind of tattoo costs? I don't costs? know. They're expensive. I have a buddy that does tattoos that would probably pick me up. but Yeah. Hey, what time are we meeting here tomorrow? 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock? I thought, so, is it, what time is the signature signing? Is it one, right? Yeah, but they're going to have a show there, and we'll, we Wait, need they to have pick a car up our show tickets. There? And they're right. going to have, like, stuff there. I don't know exactly. I'm sure they'll have cards there. Man, so you got in on these. I should have gotten in on these. Yeah. Look at that. Those see, things are sick. Dude. Yeah, those 83s. Oh, dude, those dude. are so sick. 
like the gold and the uh, and the green are probably the best mm -hmm. ones. And you don't have the green one. Oh man, I don't. Gold with I think the green is ninety nine. I thought I had it. Maybe Where I'm just sure? watching it. Um, I've I've been watching it on eBay for like forever because I wasn't sure if I had it or not. That's that's what Nate and I were talking about. Like sometimes. Says like, Eric needs to get an ace tattoo. You probably have an ace tattoo. I actually I actually don't. <clears throat> you call yourself I a fan. I, I, no. It was you have those all those tattoos. Was, and not was, one of them's an ace. Not yeah, even like no. an elephant. Like you could be like, yeah, I, this yeah, is my ace elephant. I kind of I didn't want to do any kind of type of logos for a while, but yeah. You should have Mark McGuire like sign on your <laughs> no, <laughs> sign God. something and then you and then go get a tattoo. Oh my God, that's bad. Uh, oh, man, dude, that's that uh, is freaking no. hilarious. Will the A's win the AL West this year? Well, Damn right. right. Yes. That's right, Eric. <laughs> Let's see. Oh yeah, you know what? Houston's gonna take a hit this year, I think. Ooh. So the A's do Ooh, have a shot the... at winning. Well, they yeah. lost one of their best pitchers. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Um, Brandon Crawford's um, Garrett Cole. Oh yeah. Well, no, Brandon no. Crawford's brother-in-law, Garrett Cole, right? It's Garrett Cole. Yeah, yeah. he's gone. He's now on the Yankees. He's gone. He's on the Yankees. Plus, something severe is going to happen to that. The Actually, Astros. Yeah, because they're talking about maybe. Um, I mean, what is it that they can the really manager? do? They suspend their manager for a year, man. That's gonna be. Uh, There's enough talent on that team. They don't really. Want I don't know. Let's see how the let's see how I they mean, end this year without the <laughs> without the sign steal. Are they doing it during the regular season? Yeah, they think they were doing it all season. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah, that's why if you look at like um, look at the home road splits, mm -hmm. and it's pretty dramatic. Yeah, like the Astros hit way better at home. And they're I, they're I like know. just get ready for all of the, what is the it, so eighty one games at home. Oh. Are, they're like what like seventy and eleven at home and like it was it was like <laughs> how well they were hitting. I remember yeah. seeing the batting averages. You know, I don't think any team went seventy and eleven at home. That's crazy. Especially because that's a hitter's park, so other teams can come in and get healthy. Yeah, but if you yeah. know what the opposition is doing, so they, pitch. Uh, I mean, it's not like they really they like they didn't know necessarily. Like they still don't know location. They're just, you know. Like, I think, well, yeah, but if you know the speed, trust me. If a, if you know, the the general speed that a pitch is coming in at, it's a little easier you know, to react. Not a little yeah. easier. It's a hundred percent easier. It's what, well, basically it's your chances are, like fifty fifty now. And this is like someone that played maybe baseball at a high level for many years. Yeah. So I mean, Same. if you know if you know what pitch is coming, it's it takes a lot. It takes the guessing out of it. Yeah, because you 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 could be balanced through your. Swing. Well, if you if you're if you're if you're geared up for a fastball, somebody's gonna come in at you like high nineties. You you don't want to be late. Yeah. And so they, if you if they throw you something off speed and you're and you're ready to go. Yeah. I mean, it's hard to hold up. If you get really full on the pitch, so th does that help it? Like, oh, it's it's dramatic. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I feel like yeah. I guess like it's yeah. I guess it could be fifty fifty. That makes sense. I mean, I would, like, what am I saying? Is a because you're 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 basically when you're at when you're at the plate, you're guessing. I guess I feel like you've got to be looking for something. If you look at like batting average, right? You look at somebody who hits three hundred, right? Like, uh -huh. does that increase their batting average to four fifty? Oh, I mean, <laughs> you know, yeah. Or, I mean, of course, stats are going to. But I mean, it's how hard they're hitting the ball. You know how they're squaring. Up timing, is it's, it's, it's yeah. timing is better. Yeah, timing it's, is it's, better because you know how fast the it, ball yeah. is coming in. You know, you're not um, having to react to pitches. You know what pitches is coming. Is coming. Yeah. So, hmm. yeah, it's interesting. <laughs> I still think there's a, a pretty, like, like, maybe not, it's not as significant, but I, I think when, you, like, pitcher versus batter, the pitcher has a huge upper hand against the batter. Oh, for sure. And then, like. Well, that's why no, batters for sure. that's why, never yeah, hit over if, 500. Yeah, if you hit, if you hit 300, 
that means you failed 70% of the time yeah. at the plate in your success. Yeah. So, yeah, pitchers totally have the upper So, hand. I mean, I guess I think like 50-50, that's, that's a pretty huge... Because you have to factor in movement, you have to factor in... Mm-hmm. Location. Um, location. And maybe they took a little bit off or put a little bit extra on. But if you take like, away all those factors and now you know that you know at least what speed is coming in. Yeah. It's you know. Well it'll be interesting. But, you know, the A's actually they probably probably I wonder if they're the favorites to win the ALS this year, coming before the season starts. Ooh, I I don't know. I mean, whatever baseball tonight. I mean, all I know is the Angels. You know, the all the acquisitions they've made doesn't. They have. They the haven't problem. made anything that no. Is because they, solved they don't their have pitching problem. Yeah. They, they, that's exactly. They picked up a guy problem. that is just like like a in an inning eater, but he has like a four point nine two ERA. Yeah. Or something I mean, the like Angels that. haven't addressed the fact that they don't have an ace. Or they don't have a they, they just like they got a lot of offense but no pitching. Houston's gonna get in trouble. The A's are probably gonna be about as good as they were last year. What? The A's are gonna be better. Get out of here. The A's you're, are gonna be better. You're booted. The A's are gonna be better. <laughs> the, A's, you, the A's will be better. Dude, the A's they and, have and Matt Olson coming in at the start of the season. They didn't well, have him. He was in the first game. Right, how about the first game? First like, like, if, if, Chris, if, Chris, if, we get, if we get the old Chris Davis back, now the rumor going around is that KD was hurt last year. So. Yeah, he was hurt a lot last year. And, and a lot more played. than people were saying. Huh? Yeah, yeah. So I think that's that was a they, wasted season. Yeah, because he hit like 10 home runs in the first yeah. two weeks. If he season, comes in healthy, yeah. and we have Matt Olsen. The A's, I mean, are, the A's are probably going to win the West. Mark so, Simeon. Simeon, Mark yeah. Simeon finished top three in the AL MVP. For yeah. sure, this year wasn't he a, uh, the number two war guy too, or something? Uh, I I think yeah. Bregman. I think Bregman ended up catching Trout up were, to him. Were, Trout yeah, was number one. Was, yeah, he um, was up there. Depending on which one, fan graphs or baseball. And, and if you're and if you're an ace fan, and you uh, you know the entire year, I saw guys get hot. You know, we saw Chapman get. Be nice if Manea was healthy all season too. We Manea. need. Dude, I think, that, I, I think. Are we frozen? No, I just don't have it on play. Oh, okay. So I'm getting this, but... All right. but Damn, Simeon I can't believe my Wi-Fi is holding up in here tonight. That's good. It's like a crash. Oh, I know, here, right? Man. Sometimes, yeah. My Wi-Fi in here is yeah. like, just sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, sometimes I'll just see Nate. It seems to be working. It's like, eh. Yeah. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this is going to be the weirdest baseball card junkies episode ever. We've had, decided to just, archive this video. Just this, We've like, had a weirder. Hour. I what we maybe had weirder, it's maybe just not. Us hanging out. Uh, I think I think it's pretty much like what we. This did the is last like time a total here. candid <laughs> discussion. I guess people are commenting at least, so yeah. I, I can't read them. But Eric, you could you could anything good in there? Uh, someone good? asked what the if Bonds gets in the Hall of Fame, what is his number one rookie to have or get? I would say it would be. I know that the one that's on the registry is an '86 Fleer update. Really? It's on the future Hall of Fame registry. I would say the A6 tops Tiffany would be. <laughs> well, I, I know, say. but no, but I mean the Tiffany is like, of course you want to get the '86 tops Tiffany, but if you're talking about the regular Bonds pack, rookie pack issued, is that well, that's no, cause... well, no, none of the '86 cards are pack issued. They're, They're all, all oh, subsets. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, but um, sorry, that wasn't. Probably, if you want to get the card that's on the future Hall of Fame set registry, which I. I don't even know how or why I know this, except that for some weird reason, the 86 Fleer, Barry Bond, Update. which is this card right it's here. that blue one, right? The blue the one that's on top here. It's a good card. I mean, it's a cool card. I got other cool cards in here. It's too. not as good looking. But anyway, as this is just... Top that's the card that's on the future Hall of Fame set registry, so... You like the 86 top set? That's probably, yeah, probably that card might get a bump in value. It's not card. really. I could, you know why? Because they match the lettering with the team colors. Mm. Yeah, that was that was. Yeah. Cool. So what? So that that would be the one to get, I guess. My favorite card, personally, is the 87 Fleer. Which is what I wish they would have done with 89 Don Russ instead of just making random colors. Yeah. Like all the A's should have matched, been in the green and yellow. Matched them. All the you know. McGuire was. He was, yeah. McGuire. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, not, you know, I'm not sure if Fonseca was. I don't remember. Yeah. I can't picture Fonseca. Anyway. 89 Don Rex. 
I think he the forty forty one. So yeah, that one was. So should we go live and crack this slab? <laughs> I'd say this we slab right now. here. The guy that owns my uh, one of the LCSs has this company that grades cards. What is it? It's. Oh, okay. It's BSG or oh, something. Is, I can't name, is that Matt Williams? Yeah, but that's the one with the diamond in it. Yeah. Dude. I picked this card up today. Card. It's a, it's a, here, I'll show the crowd. What card? Yeah. Right. I don't remember. If you want it that bad, you can have it. But <laughs> no. I bought it. Anyways. I bought it for my so, birthday. My birthday is in like two weeks. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, happy so birthday, you... Titanic Taters. Anyways. What? Um, what? Oh. Big Mac? Yeah. Uh, Fred and Emma's grading company says, um, it come off an egg. But anyways, this card is really cool. It's 96 Zenith. And last time I talked about this card, I made everybody laugh because what did I call it? Penith. Penith, yeah. <laughs> Penith. Anyway, it has a diamond in here, but this damn slab is just a nightmare. Dude, let's Let's Dude, I'm going to grab the saw. Let's, let's Dude, I'm going to sit it. here let's and crack it. Because this it. plastic, it's not like a, it's not like BGS yeah. or that PSA. Was funny, <laughs> it's, like, it's like this. Uh, you can't just crack it like a regular slab, man. So, the so, so we're, we're at the card shop. I'll be right back. And Nate says, he's like, hey, um. Like, I That's I a good like, find, dude. He's like, I want to crack this card open. And I was like, I told Nate. I was like, Nate, I was like, dude, I was like, I'll show you how to do it at the house. I do it all the time. <laughs> But apparently this this company is um, this is like it's the same one as PSA, welded. right? No, no, dude, this guy has it right there at your LCS. Yeah, I know, but it's the same. Oh, no, it's no, 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 no. He said that this is it won't yeah. like you can't you can't do it like the PSA ones where you just crack it right here and you can split it open. This is like all fused together somehow. Yeah. So it you actually get a hacksaw to be to be. Totally honest. I mean, the grading is BS, but um, the actual um, holder is pretty sweet. Is, 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 I is would nicer call, than I might PSA. Have just kept it in there, dude. I know a PSA I had know, that. Dude, look this. Dude, this would be look Whatever. so much better than a magnetic. Well, obviously, dude. Who but is like, that? imagine if PSA did that. Um, that uh, what is it? Frosting on it. They. I thought they did. No. They kind of do it around the edges, but they don't have it like right on the edge of the card thing. I know. Yeah, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. All right, here we go. <laughs> this is gonna be a project, man. Dude, you're gonna be <laughs> so upset <laughs> if you break that. <laughs> you mess up that card, dude. Dude, I'd rather not have dude, this, this card is sweet. in that fucking slab. Than so have this is the first time. How are you gonna? That thing is that slab is gonna. I mean, I'm OCD. That slab. Dude, you gotta is get up here. Down. You gotta yeah. get up here. Yeah, you you, you gotta. But you can't do it like a, like on a BGS. You could crack the corners with like a, a pliers and just stick a screwdriver in there and pop it open. Mm -hmm. But this slab is made with a different kind of plastic. It's not brittle. It's too. And it's yeah. It's like I don't know, man. This guy did, we, too, we're, he did we're too like, good of a job on these. Let's just here you go. Film it. All right. So I got this miter okay, box. Okay, hold on, hold on. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, we're really gonna do this, huh? We're gonna. I can't even tell if I'm filming it. Yeah, you are. All right. Oh, this fucking bootlegged slab. He he, he made the damn thing too good. Because you didn't want people cracking them and sending them back to the PSA. Oh, Dude, this slab would drive me nuts, man. Dude, it smells like it's burning. Hell yeah. <laughs> I had a Willie Mays card in one of the, this thing slab. That's how I know it's so hard to... I almost fucked the card up when I was on. Um, what was that? It was a 54 maze. Is that like Fort Knox style? There we go. Okay. There we go. Now we're going to do. All right. Now. Hey, look. Toss that trash can because I don't want like. Oh, there we go. 
Ah, oh, this fucking thing, dude. Are we gonna be able to split it right there? Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Now you need a screwdriver. Now you can there come you over here and do it. You can show what you're doing. No, no, you gotta film him. Look. No, but he needs to come over here. No, no, no. Look, he's already doing it. Oh wait, he's already doing it. Yeah, doing? look at this thing. Is like, like has some kind of this plastic fucking pisses me oh, off. Dude. That sucker's way tough. Dude, did you see how it bent? Yeah, dude. Yeah. It doesn't like want to. I mean, he did. The guy that created these tabs did a fantastic job, but this company is just like he graded this car to nine, and I saw a defect on the side of it. That, no way, it's a nine. I saw, dude, you're kind of. Dude, you guys can see my face right. Now. All right, I think we're back. Slug. Are we back? I think we're back. Yes, we are. Woo! There's too much fear. Seriously, that's like. Good gosh, this is like. This is like nightmares. Dude, I've done, I've done BGS. Oh, you touched the car. I know, I touched it. <laughs> I didn't ruin it, though. Holy. Yeah, I, I, I took a 54 maze out of one of these, and it was... Good gosh, really? He had a 54 Oh, fuck. Fuck this company, dude. Dude, dude I feel like I gotta get in there and help you. Like, pry it open. Oh, shit. Like... Ah, <sighs> uh, no, 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 Eric, Eric, you're now... You're too... All right, here. Well, I was gonna stay right there, and then you pry it. There you go. Will it survive? We'll see. Will what survive? The card? This card, yeah. This slab was just way too well made. Can't you just, like, slide it out now? Uh, no, I don't think so, man. I think, actually... God, I would love to slide it out. No, that motherfucker ain't going nowhere. Gee, this is no joke. Yeah, I hate these fucking things. You've done this before. Whatever you do, don't... Like, I hate to say it, because the guy at my card shop, man, bless his heart, but his slabs are just way too well made. Like, you can't crack them. He probably does that on purpose. That's exactly why he did it. Hey. There we go. Oh, jeez. I gotta be careful, man. Dude, yeah, yeah, you got a little close to the card. Because right? it's... The plastic is just... It doesn't... He said he uses, like, some kind of resin to... Yeah, put the two. Yeah, <laughs> like it, like it melts or something. But yeah, he, he had a patent on it and all the plastic welders. Yeah. Ah, Man, that's like <laughs> fuck. It's like making my oh, dude. butt oh. clench a little bit. Oh, right, right on the corner, <laughs> dude. <laughs> here, here, Nick. Thank you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. Oh. <laughs> what a fucking nightmare, guys. <laughs> this slab is a nightmare. I, Holy crap. I cannot believe how hard that was. That was... Holy so moly. anyways, in the slab, right? All right, it came out fine. Damn, dude, that was nerve-wracking. Anyway, uh... Hopefully that was as nerve-wracking for you guys as it was for me. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, there's some Matt Williams super collector right now. He's cringing. He's oh, like, yeah. I don't have, it, 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 I don't it, have that fun. card. I don't know how I got it out of there, to be honest. <laughs> All right, now I got to put it in a magnetic. Dude, that was... That was oh, funny. my God. You got some magnetics today. Yeah, I know. I'll put it in this magnetic. I'll put this card in the That was like... Dude, Dude heart you're getting, <laughs> you're, I'm having you're, heart, heart you're, palpitations. You're, you should have seen the look on Eric's face. <laughs> Dude, he was so scared. Yeah, this car has a diamond in it, though. It's a, it's That's a, how rare it is. Like, no, I, this is I, like, yeah, I know. What I are know these number two? They're not numbered, but... But just, what's the print run? I don't know. They're not that rare. I mean... Anybody saying anything? Are they, are they entertained by that? Yeah, I mean, I could crack a BGS slab in like 30 seconds, yeah. and no problem. Dude, that was way too much stress for me. I, want, I, want, I have I want high to... blood pressure, man. I can't. Yeah, man, I need a 55-point <laughs> magnetic, and I don't have one. Oh, yeah, I do. I got one. Good. 
was going to say, I thought... Or maybe a 75 point. Dude, you got a 75 today. No, I already used it. Oh, that diamond? Because I was going to say, that diamond sticks up higher than the rest of the card, doesn't you it? need like a 50. I, I need a thicker, uh, a thicker magnetic. <laughs> They're asking, are either of us going to the National this year? I'm not. I'm, I'm not. I'll be out here this summer. Visiting? Yeah. yeah. Got to visit my grandma. And my my uncle might be. That's here. the question. Who's going to the national? Oh, maybe I could put it. Uh, I, I can't come. afford it. I don't know. Maybe I'll be able to afford it. Uh, I'm not making any decisions this early in the year. You should. Why? Because this is when you can get a better deal on flight. When is it? When is it supposed to be? When and where? Isn't it like Atlantic City again or something? Yeah, it's in Atlantic City, man. Which is literally the most expensive place. Of course, what do you want to do after you're done at the National? Go play some roulette I, or blackjack. <laughs> no, no, dude. You think fifty-five or seventy-five point on this because of that diamond? You know what you can try do? one of each. You, you know what you do? Stack cards next to it. Stack like. I think it's a seventy-five pointer. Stack like some reg regular tops cards. Yeah. See how many it takes. I it, think it's well, a seventy-five. So pointer. here's the thing: because the diamond will probably like, scratch the magnetic. That's why you get it a little bit bigger. Yeah. So that the diamond is underneath. The, but it'll bounce around. No, it won't. Yeah, it'll bounce around if you oh, yeah. this to your card. Us. Now, doesn't that look better than in the slab? Don't let him touch it. He wants to. <laughs> no, let me see. <laughs> Don't let him touch oh, it. Oh, man. That card is sick. I'm so glad I cracked that. <laughs> he wants to see if it's going to move in there. Man, that thing, man when I go does back it, and hey, watch, hey, it, hey, watch hey, that footage. Does it move around in there? No, not really. How can you be sure? There's only one way to test. Oh. But you know what? You have to have that room for the diamond. Anyways, here, let's show the car. Oh, you're over there, buddy. All right, so here it is now out of the slab. Bam! Pow. Oh, that looks so much better in, than in that fucking bootlegged slab. Oh, this card is fantastic. Dude, yeah, that card is sweet. Anyways, yeah, right there is like a diamond. So I've been wanting one of these, and they never, ever. Ever it, show up. Is that the only player? That's, so that's the only player you have of any. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. That's crazy. The, this card yeah, only yeah, books are... I looked it up. It only books for 12 bucks, but yeah, I think no if way. it went to auction, there's no it way. would sell for a lot more than $12. Yeah, I, I just does. don't see... There's, I mean, the dude, diamond... The diamond is worth more than $12. Yeah, the diamond and the moving, card's worth more I'm than... How do, you book, how do you put a book value of $12 with a card that has a freaking diamond in it? I'm willing to bet you there's. I mean, some it's probably a low grade diamond, but still. I'm willing to bet you there's some set collectors going after those cards. Too. Yeah. And well, will, this is PC for yeah, life, you baby. See, you will see those. Uh, after, especially. Some of yeah. Sets, dude, like. <laughs> so we got people talking about the national. I think. Anyway, now. You know, see if uh, Mangini is on here. You know, tell him that that's where he needs to. All right. Oh, okay. uh, Ace fan Jim is on here. Yankees uh, fan 71 what's up guys I know I haven't been reading comments because we've been just too busy bullshitting but um uh, so Ron what's up Ron he's asking you what happened to the rest of the ultimate collection team set video uh, man that card is so uh, sick I just uh, gotta show it off just because I'm so pleased yeah, with this card out of the slab um oh my Jim, God. you know what I'll do that I think you're the only one horrible. that really liked that video that video series so I didn't do really shit. Oh, I don't even think Eric watched it. What 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 video? I don't even know. The, 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 I the think Ultimate Team Oh, I haven't been on. Well, you got YouTube no, that yeah, often. Yeah. I've just been on like YouTube Kids watching it. Because I think Ace Ace Fan Jim was the only one that really liked that series. Yeah, like one view. Because I was yeah. <laughs> Ace Fan Jim. I was, I was, no, you know what? No, no, no. I I take that back. Actually, people actually were giving me. Oh, here's another right, sick so ass I'm card I picked good. up today. I'm gonna mag this thing. Well, he can hear you. You can tell him. I don't need to tell oh, him. No, right? you can, you got to, tell him I'll do tell it. Tell him I'll do it. Yeah, I know. Like, like, you're, like you're texting him. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, oh, man. Are we? We're going live tomorrow. Yeah, we're gonna go we live when we're getting the autographs. Well, maybe not live, but we'll at least record footage. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah footage sure. definitely is getting recorded. Yeah. 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 How are we gonna do that tomorrow? 
Well, we got four. There's four of us, well, and we'll, we just we'll take turns. We got like, are we gonna do like one phone and everybody shares it, or are we gonna? Nah, dude. We're just we're, we're, we're not getting our shit signed all at the same time, so someone could. Uh, so, so all the homies. Is this a one thirty or a one hundred point? I got that's both. Like a one, I that's a one hundred. Huh? I, I think it's a hundred. Right. I got a hundred magnetic. I can put this in. I don't know. So people are watching me live. Um, sort my cards. I, I just I just cram my one hundreds into a seventy five. Don't do that. Please oh, don't do I that. Out of 100s? <laughs> no. So what I do, what I do to figure it out. Is you get like a regular tops card? Ah, it's supposed to be a twenty point card. Yeah. So you get a card, and then you stack like some tops cards next to it, and then you count how many. You take. So what do you like do? If so, five, the, so if you get five twenty point cards, well then you got a hundred point card. But you can't use like. Ease. It works. Like fleets. Oh, look at that. Like, no, you can't like use A's for the year, dude. Like because it's like, on rust. Yeah, dude, that's like a that's 10 like, point card. Yeah, those are super <laughs> thin. Gonna mess no, that's up. what I'm telling you. Gotta use like a, you got to use like an 89 top. So. Yeah, check this bad boy out. <laughs> yeah, LCS pickup today, baby. Ah, uh, the mags for the win. The cards just look so much Dude, I probably didn't make sense in some of this video because I'm so tired after Nate and I went to five card shops today. <laughs> I card shopped your ass oh, out. Dude. So how far is my grandma's to here? What about? 60 miles. It's an hour drive. An hour, yeah. With no traffic, it's an hour drive. Hour, yeah, yeah we'll um, be coming back the same way, right? All right, baby. Well, you guys are going to drop me off in up three, though. No, we're going to drop you. We're going to drop you off in Oakland, and then you take Bart back. <laughs> I'm just I kidding. I did that yesterday. <laughs> I got to see the stadium. Did you guys see? You, Nate saw that picture. What, the stadium? Yeah. yeah, yeah, you had it in the background, yeah. I think that was the, f that may have been the first time in my life I came from that direction to the Coliseum. Because oh. I always come from El Cerrito, yeah, always come from, from my grandparents, way. I go, yeah. So my top four pickups of the day are right here. Yeah. All right, cool. And perfect fit sleeves are getting popular, huh? You, you don't know, perfect fit sleeve all your stuff, do you? Dude, I'm gonna I, start, I, I, dude. I just started. Oh, did you bring you know, those I, perfect fits? Dude, I didn't need ice. No, Man, I, gotta, I gotta buy some. I just gotta go. Dude, on I I recommend the, the top loader sleeves and the dude because like I've bought a a few cards that sellers have sent that you know with a mag and a and a perfect fit sleeve. And I'm like, dude, like this is so nice. It, yeah, it, it, it makes it, a huge difference. Yeah, and so it, yeah. <laughs> Does it make a huge difference though? Big uh, enough where Eric wants it. I, I guess my, my concern is that when you put them in the three rows, if you get like one row. Oh. And then you can't like. Fit. It would fit better than this. Than what? Dude, they're so. Dude, they're. I'm gonna go put this shit away. They are. They have no. All right, guys. Tools of the trade if you ever want to crack a slab <laughs> from hell. There is no, <laughs> none of this. Yeah, but like what I'm sucker. so I guess because once those are in the middle, right? Where is your deal over here somewhere? <gasps> Where's the, there you go. Um, so yeah, I guess I like from. I don't know. I guess if you get too many of them in there, they start to because the magnetics are the same width as the top loaders, right? They're just thicker. No, the top loaders are actually wider than the magnetics. So yeah, the, the top loader sleeves there. I mean, they fit they fit real snug on the, mm -hmm. on the two. So um, my concern is the sides. I mean, you can't like, get more the than only likely, way you can what's get gonna happen, tighter is it. I'm gonna buy like three hundred or four hundred of those things. I'll get two rows in, and then I won't be able to get a third row. Because they're just that much thinner than the radical. Oh, so you're saying so you're saying that this is all able to fit on here because you don't have anything on your top Correct. loaders. Gotcha, gotcha. You know, because like the two them. row top loaders have a little bit more space in them, like they're not as snug a fit as the three rows with the top loaders. Gotcha. I don't know. In my opinion, I don't. Know. <sighs> okay, what is that? What is that Bonds picture right there, Nate? Oh, that's home run number seven eleven. I was at the game. Oh, dude! And my friend, 
had a picture. We were sitting out in left field, and he blew up the picture, and and then that's from home run number seven eleven. If everybody wants to know what we're talking about, it's this photograph right here. So it's like real grainy because it was taken in left field from the bleachers, that photograph. But he hit a home run on that swing. So it's a one-of-a-kind uh, photograph. That's nice. That's, that's really cool. Yeah, that's I like cool. That. So I was at that game. Yeah. I would, that would be kind of cool to get signed by Bonds, but I wouldn't. Like if I had just hunt them down. You saw I did that. Francisco. You saw I did that video where I accidentally found one of the games I was at. Oh, and you saw yourself in the background? No, I didn't no. see. No, man. No, it's because like for a long time I, I was trying to figure out. What oh yeah, was yeah, and yeah. Everything, you know, and I had actually looked through a bunch of box scores trying to figure out. Like so I went to this game where McGuire hit two home runs, and Lansford hit a grand slam. So it was oh, you told me about Yeah, you did. Yeah. So did I was, you make I was, a video about that on Yeah, because I got like super happy. Well, I told my grandma about it this weekend, and she was, oh man, she was. She doesn't watch your videos? No. But, oh, I'm, dude, I'm joking. Dude, dude, no, she doesn't watch my videos, man. I don't think she could get on YouTube on her phone. Oh, yeah. She's like, what's a YouTube? I'll tell you what, what's though. What's a YouTube? Uh, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm glad she's texting now, because. <laughs> yeah, that way you can like have a conversation. Over a long period of time without... Yeah, well, there's sometimes I just can't talk on the phone, you know? Yeah. Well, that's a good one. Ace Fan Jim is asking, what are the first packs of cards you all remembering buying when you were younger? Oh, I... 1978 Tops. That's why... Man, man Nate, you're so I had to I was born in 1979. <laughs> I have a whole yeah. set of 78 oh, okay. you're my, you're right here in a binder. And I bought this set. Actually, Eric, you were at the show with me. Remember when I bought this yes, set? I, remember, yeah. I saw that video. Oh, He's you like, did? Man, yeah, so I got the whole 78 set. And the reason why I wanted this set is because it's the first packs I ever busted. And I love this set. Fantastic set. The set's in horrible condition, but I only paid like 40 bucks for it. Eddie motherfucking Murray. <laughs> So, mine talking. was 87 tops. 87 tops? Yeah. Okay. Mine was, mine was Man, 80. You guys make me feel mine old and shit. I got, I got and nine I, years here's the, here's the funny part about it is that was the first year I went, my grandpa took me to an A's game. And Seiko hit a home run in the first game I went to, right? His rookie year. Yeah. And so I really, I just kept buying packs and packs and packs. Oh, and yeah. Packs I've heard this story before. Cards. Trying to, and I couldn't figure out why I couldn't pull a Conseco. Because they're because correlate, cor whatever correlation. No, because there no, there was no eighty six top Conseco. Oh, there was, there was, was it wasn't so, out yet. But yeah. as a nine year old kid, I didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't. So you're looking and for all Conseco? My, uh, yeah, all my what, I kept tops? all those eighty six. Eighty six top. Eighty six. So he, I didn't know what traded was. It wasn't yeah, until the following year that I found out about Beckett and. I kept all my cards in the rubber Should have bought 86 Don Russ. I know. I didn't, I didn't even know what Don Russ was, dude. I bought all my cards at the uh, convenience store down the street. You know what? Oh, like, oh, back in 86, you didn't see Don Russ. You I saw Tops and Fleer. I never I, saw packs I, of Don I, Russ the, in the, 86. The convenience store that I first bought cards at, all I had was Tops. That was it. They were 30, 25 cents or 35 cents a pack. And I would save up all my allowance, and me and my brother every weekend we'd go down and we'd just buy. Yeah, the packs jumbo packs were like seventy-five cents. I didn't and know what like jumbo. Cents I didn't know what a jumbo the, pack the, was. The, was but, or no, the, at that at that yeah. in 86, 87 I knew what they, they were. They had the jumbo <laughs> packs, and like I think those came out like eighty-nine, maybe eighty-eight. They had jumbo packs. I think it was eighty-nine, but then like they had the solo pack, the bubble packs, right? Who was I tell who were we talking to? And I said an 89 Fleer. We actually figured out the sequence. You told me. It took yeah. And so I we were in the 89 Fleer, we were almost we could go to the store, look at all of the of the cello packs, and we knew what cards were in what. Oh we, yeah, we, because we, of correlation. Because, because of predictable. No, yeah. because this no, no, no. This is how they did it. So my brother had actually bought the 89 Fleer factory set. Okay? And what I noticed is the way it was put in the box was exact. Like I recognized the pattern as to like some of the the packs we had bought, and I'm looking at my brother's set, 
and I'm looking at packs that we bought, and I'm like, it's exactly the same. Oh, damn. So we figured out, like, okay, like, you know. Man, that is dedication. <laughs> It was just by it was just by chance that we figured it out. But like I would go, you know, I we we go to the store and I, you know, I recognize some of the players. I'm like McGuire's in here, <laughs> you know. I'm so you know which pack had McGuire. Well, I know uh, it, when you saw the front of the solo pack. Yeah, well, it was just like you kind of had to have a bit of them memorized so that you knew where he was at. But it was the same order. Every so you were looking time. for packs that contained McGuire. McGuire can say Griffey. Greg Jeffries. Did you ever pull a Griffey? Jeff that Greg Jeffries. A bunch, a, a few, a few Griffies. Yeah. Um, Sheffield. Who else was? Sandy Alomar. For? It was Sandy Alomar. Yeah. It was, did you uh, just take your Griffies to the card shop and trade them in for credit to get McGuire cards? Oh, I. I would. Yeah. Yeah, I would a lot. Yeah. Um. Do you I have any Griffey rookies? Not anymore, no. Uh, uh, how can you collect me? You got an 89 <laughs> upper deck stack. Dude. Oh, I, shit, my... What the hell? I only had that. How'd that happen? I don't know. My pennant fell down. <laughs> uh, that's weird. I better find the, the pen that was holding it up, huh? Dude, what is that baseball magazine? It has Mac on the front. With bonds. Oh, uh, that's a baseball magazine. No, but it, it's not a card magazine, is it? Is I it? don't know. I never opened it. You know what? Cool. When I, I went, when that. I went to um, Sacramento, like two years ago, Mike Line gave this to me. Mikey, you know Mike Line TV. Mm -hmm. I think. And I don't even think I ever opened this. I think I just stuck it in this top loader and it's been sitting here the whole time. Let's see if there's cards in here. I think the last time I was here, I didn't. Re I did. I was so. Uh, this is just a baseball magazine. It doesn't have anything to do with cards. Mm -hmm. Well, there's a McGuire card you don't have on the cover of this magazine. You can go to actually a card. No, no. You can put that out for me. No, I like uh, it. What are some of the other huge name or huge busts? It's part of it's part of my uh, man cave wall. Here, some here. people are going to argue with me on this, but I'm going to say Greg Jeffries was not a. Bust. He actually had a decent. Him and Wally Joyner had a decent. He was a collecting bus, so, but he may not yeah, have been okay. a collecting bus. Maybe because people thought, yeah, people thought he was like the second coming. Like, yeah, he was yeah. gonna be like. He was the second, just not the second coming. Yeah. No, he was a good ball player. I think he, may, you know, all star. So, so he's a good ball player, huh? <laughs> you think so? Who is? Charlie, this Jeter and a magnetic. Bus? Who's busts? Yeah. Who's another bust? I mean, I can go into um, early, early oh, 90s. And man, I was going to say, there's a, you got, there's a bunch of... Jeffrey Hammonds, he didn't really do anything. Phil Plantier. Um, you remember Brooks Kieschnick. <laughs> Brooks Kieschnick. Remember yeah. that guy? He had he got drafted by... Todd Van Poppel. Todd Van Poppel. Oh, oh man. Yeah, I made a mistake with ben him. Ben Grieve. No, no. Ben Grieve had some solid years in Oakland, dude. He was a stud. Yeah, but... He got yeah. traded in... He had about three seasons in Oakland where he was really good. Well, I think he had 30 home runs. Now. Did he? I don't I know think if he got that high ever. He had a... I'm going to have to look it he up. Got he got like 240. Was, dude, he was, was really good. No. <laughs> that's the, like that. That's like when he got tra traded to Tampa Bay. And I don't know what ben happened Ben McDonald, there. Kevin Moss. Yeah, all those people ben were McDonald, like... Ben McDonald, Kevin Moss. Well, Kev, was it Kevin Moss? Wasn't he like a September... Was he a September... He was a... He, was a uh, he played the second half of 1990. So it was and hit like 22 just, home yeah, runs. Like really Yankees. fast. Yeah. And then he never did anything after that. Yeah, the following... And, no one, and I don't think the Yankees were expecting anything The from following him. spring, they were actually... They were actually trying Mattingly like in right field. Yeah. Yeah, it was like... Oh, because of Kevin because Moss? Because of Kevin Moss, yeah. Yeah. I mean, here's the thing. They can't do that. Like, Mattingly. dude, they did. Look at us. At Mattingly, I think he actually played a couple of games. What, like, what, what would you say? Like, 80, 90% of guys that make the majors are going to be huge busts in the hobby? Right. Oh, man, there's a guy, um, Matt Antonelli. He's got a, uh, he's got a baseball channel. It's really good. He talks about all the behind the scenes stuff. Mm -hmm. But, he was like a number one draft pick, but man, he Brian didn't really Taylor, do he didn't blow Brian his Taylor. arm. He, he, he got, got a bar fight. arrested, yeah. and he got in a bar fight and got arrested. 
No, he, yeah, he, I don't know if yeah. he got arrested, but in the bar fight, he hurt Here his, were some things that happened himself. with Brian Taylor once he was with the, uh, like, in the Yankees uh, camp. They said, like, this dude didn't know how to do anything because, like, he, he, he couldn't pick people off. He, could, he didn't know how to field his position, Brian Taylor. Because they said what happened was he was so dominating in, in high school and struck everybody out. He was so good. He, he didn't learn any fun. He didn't learn how to do anything else. Yeah. So. Well, he would have learned. I mean, it's not like he would have. Yeah, yeah, but he uh, yeah, but the dude, when you're freaking, they expect you to know some stuff like that when you're a big league camp. Like, dude, you don't know how to do this. Like, come on. Maybe really like. You should. I mean, that he never early. started a major league game. So. Brian Taylor never started a major league game. I don't think so. No, he got in a. He got in a fight. Unless he hurt himself. It's funny because I missed the whole Brian Taylor thing because that's when I wasn't collecting. So, like, the last pitcher, bust pitcher, was uh, Todd Van Poppel, which was 91. And then Todd Ben Van McDonald Poppel, was the year before. Was a... But he had a couple of decent seasons. Oh, I couldn't. I mean, Rick and I Hill was him. pretty much a bust pitcher in Bobby. Uh, well, don't uh, you know? You know, uh, Matt. Matt from the Essential Credentials collects. Right I'm so. I'm sorry, Matt. Well, but but because he because above. he came he back as a position a player. Yeah, he was supposed to as a pitcher. I didn't think Matt would even agree with that. But as a yeah, I mean, he came back. Yeah, he couldn't throw a strike after he. Dude, he couldn't even hit the catcher's glove. Yeah. <laughs> Something happened to his brain, like, just oh, like Chuck just, Knobloch. Yeah, he hit the first baseman's glove. Oh, dude, you remember that catcher in the eighties? Um, couldn't throw back to the pitcher. No, that was um No, it wasn't from Major the League. Major League, <laughs> Major League. No, they actually they Major actually League got two. it from what was it that he couldn't fire a second? It was Mackie Sasser, dude. He had like this like some weird mental block. Yeah. That I remember Mackie Sasser. You remember he had in, in that did that have like an idiot Mackie, John Russ rated Mackie rookie Mackie card or, or Mickey Sasser. I thought it was Mickey Sasser. Mackie, uh, Mickey. Mickey. Dude, I, I whatever. I'm, I'm tired. We, to, we went to we went to five car shops today. Dude, Dude I'm over here. I'm over time. here team bagging my fucking mags while we're bullshitting. Twenty minutes. Plus, plus it's past my bedtime. And oh, you got a bed? <laughs> listen to you, punk ass. You I got a bedtime. Show me. Are you like fifty? What, Sixty? No, man, Seventy? It's called, it, it's called at work. Hard. Yeah, true. I work hard. Hey, you 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 card shop hard today, man. Yeah. You no, I'm good. Is. I'm just dumb. I'm, I'm good. Yeah. Well, you don't have to wake up early tomorrow. You can, you can sleep yeah, in until 6. <laughs> For dude, Eric, that would be sleeping in. Dude, you know what? I'm not going to sleep in to 6. My body won't let me. You're going to be up at like 4 at this time? 5. five. Well, no, it's 4 o'clock your guys' time. Yeah. I did that this morning, man. I, I didn't want to wake my grandma. So, so that's why you're so tired. You've been up since 4 a.m. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, I guess, like, it's not kind of hard to talk about busts and, because, like, so we many, so many players are, are busts in baseball. Um, I can, well, I can almost, the, like, 90% of prospects are busts, probably even higher percentage. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to think. So, of if you're, if all you guys that are watching us right now, if you collect prospect cards, because, I, like, I don't had, expect them to actually pan out. Yeah, because in the, I didn't I mean, the just 90s. The, like, I watched they're a not lot gonna, of college baseball. In the nineties, and dude, like hardly any of those guys. Who, who did pan out? Jason Giambi. Obviously, he had a, he had a good career. All right, these cards look so much better. Team bag and uh, bag. Oh man, great cards. Oh heck yeah, dude, that does look really good. Yeah, those, those now now it looks like okay. Now it looks like they belong in a collection. Now now I can file them away. <laughs> Team bag and mag, baby. Team bag and right, mag. You gotta put your shit in a team bag. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I think Nate's delirious. Yeah, yeah but I'm good at it. <laughs> this one, I can't decide whether it should go on a top loader. I, I think I'm gonna top load this one. Oh, dude, that always comes down to that decision. Is this top loader or mag worthy? Oh, man. Yeah. Dude, I got cards in my binder that some people would get. <laughs> get I know. Then out of shape about? Yeah. yeah. Number two. You're, you're one of them. <laughs> no, it's Eric Chavez, uh, yeah, 2006 number. Finest Black Refractor, number to 25. <laughs> That's the one. Oh, uh, that, that diamond the, may not be worth 10, 12 bucks. In the, 
It's probably just like a chip on top of something. Well, it has a diamond in it, and it's. I would imagine even a diamond chip is worth ten bucks. <clears throat> I don't know. What, what do is, I know? I don't know. Oh, A's A's fan Jim wants to know what is A's fan Jim's got like all the best questions tonight. Okay, he's, well, what's what's he's up? Because I know my answer. What is everyone's favorite baseball movie? And mine, hands down. I know yours. Yeah, hands yeah. down, Bull Durham. Yeah. Like, good oh, one. man. With, with Major League, maybe like right, you know, pretty yeah. not far behind, but dude, Bull Durham, man, I love that. Movie. You like Bull Durham? Dude, I yeah, almost got to go with A League of Their Own. Sorry. Seriously? A League of Their Own. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. That's a good movie, own. but. You know, there's dude, a YouTube what? channel called A League of Their Own. Yeah, I, I, yeah. You know what? She clicks some really nice cards. She's, She's a Detroit her. A Tiger fan. Her name is Kate. Yeah, I found out her, about her because of uh, JT. Yeah. A League of Their Own. That's she doesn't movie, watch. Uh, she doesn't watch your favorite baseball, baseball card junkies TV though. I so but what, for different. But I give her a shout out anyway, guys. Subscribe to a league of their own. You won't be disappointed. Different it's a great reasons channel. though. Like Bull Durham is definitely up there. I like Bull Durham because it had a lot of like the back side, like the, like the behind the scenes stuff about baseball. Yeah. Um, like kind of into the nitty gritty of like what being on a team would have been like. Yeah, you right. know what my uh, favorite Mike's... baseball movie is? He didn't oh, see no. Bull Durham until he was over at my house. Yeah, that's a good this movie. like two years say. ago for the first yeah. time ever. I'll tell you a funny story about that because it came out in 88. That's right, baby. 1988. Oh, I got and more cards. I got funny thing is, I was 11, and we, when we asked my mom to take us to see it. It was rated R. And, and my like, mom nope, was like, nope, she, nope, was like nope. she was like, she was like, well, I'll, I'll watch it and see if, I can, see if you guys can see it. No, she was. She was like eight year old. Can't she's see. like, no, you are not gonna watch this movie. And so we had to. Yeah, it's pretty risque. We, we, we had to wait to see it like a year or two later when it was made for TV. Yeah. <laughs> so was your mom okay with the made for TV? The, for the made for TV was okay because yeah. I actually like Mr. Baseball too. That's you know that's a real good one. Good I'll one. tell you what the best scene is in Shoot any off. baseball movie. <laughs> What pitch was that? Shuto. <laughs> the best scene in any baseball movie was the Sandlot when they were playing baseball on 4th of July under the fireworks. Yeah, that's a good one. That's the best scene ever in a baseball movie. Love that scene. <laughs> Man, yeah, but scene. that still wouldn't have been enough light. Did someone um, take the, the best? beaner to the head? Dude. My favorite baseball scene. Maybe when, oh, uh, man, there's a lot of great baseball movies dude. out there. Maybe when Nuke is shaking off crying. Crying in baseball? Come on. Oh, That's yeah. like maybe the like the most well-known. God, that car Are is you beautiful. Crying? Look at that. Are thing. you crying? There's no crying <laughs> in baseball. Tom Hanks is, yeah. The League of Their Own is a fantastic movie. But, man, who would have what, thought a movie with Madonna here? in it would be your favorite baseball movie? Yeah, well, whatever. <laughs> What's going on here, coach? She's crying, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I don't what? get it. I don't understand. How, how is that possible? Well, Jimmy, like like I always said, treat each of these girls like you were, they were your mother oh, or something man. like that. So, did anyone ever tell you you look like a, a penis with a hat on? <laughs> uh, that's the best. One. That's the best scene from a baseball movie. Yeah, you know, at the end of that movie, though, it it can be a little bit of a tearjerker when they show like the them as you know like. In yeah, seventies or whatever they oh, were at yeah. the time, mm -hmm. and then they're get going to the reunion. Field of Dreams, another Kevin Costner. Oh, movie. really, really good yeah. movie. Yeah. yeah, that one's good, oh, but I, it's not quite like. Yeah, just because it's, it's not kind really of like baseball. supernatural, but no, but it's really good. It's a baseball. You know what's, movie, a, you know what's a good one? Is uh, Eight Men Out. That one's really good. I don't, I've never seen that one. You never seen the Natural. I, never, I know the story. You know what it's about. I know right? what it's about. Roy yeah. Hobbs and all the Natural. No, that's the Natural. The Natural. Uh, the Natural's good. You like Eight Men Out? Uh, that one I'm gonna have to watch and let you know. I oh, went, both you guys. Okay, I look at it. Okay, so watch. here's it's about the 1919 White Sox. So. Yeah. I know oh, I did about, see that yeah. movie dude, a long good, time ago, like 20 that years ago. That was real. That's a good movie. Dude. Yeah. No, that is a good movie. Yeah. It's um, got uh, John Cusack and uh, yeah, I did see that. Charlie Sheen is in it. Ray Liotta in that one too. No. Ray. No, you're thinking of Field of Dreams. He plays. He plays Joe Joe Jackson. It is what it is. Um. 
Uh, see, I, I mean, I think of, like, a good movie, like, something I can, like, watch over, like, watch it multiple times, like, a year. Bull Durham, even my wife had like, a movie memorized. Bull Durham, I could watch, League of Their Own, Major League, Mr. Baseball. I think every time um, I go to your house, this, Eric, you got Bull Durham this, playing. This Sandlot. <laughs> With that Eric or me? I've never been to been El Paso. He's never been to El Paso. <laughs> no, I don't have that playing. I do own it. I have yeah, like my base. So I have my DVD thing, my DVD case. Mm-hmm. My baseball movies are right on the very top. Like not even, or they're just like in their own section. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Mine are like that too. It's like yeah. baseball. Then it's Lord of the Rings. Harry Potter. <laughs> do, you <laughs> so, got the, do you got the Ken Burns t- uh Box set? No, I don't. No. I, oh man, not, that might be the greatest baseball movie this year. Ken Burns baseball. Yeah, I'm gonna have to watch that dude because I'm having like long baseball. Have you not seen it? You've seen it right? Yeah, well, I own it. Yeah, I watch it all the time. What I'm saying is like, dude, like this, the off season has been brutal. brutal. You it's need some long. baseball, dude. I, yeah, dude. I'm like. I man, usually like, watch that when I'm organizing cards. Spring training. Oh man. Yeah, dude. I love doing that. That's. Especially like the earlier stuff, like the um, exactly you just said, or you know, sorting some cards and putting on Ken Burns baseball. Once it once it starts getting to like the more the modern sixties and seventies and eighties, then I'll start watching that. Even no, I kind of more where they start to get around the uh, Babe Ruth. Babe Ruth, yeah. I did like, um, I did like. I think someone just gave us three dollars and ninety nine cents, dude. Boom! You guys gotta split it with me. From I love Liberty Justice. Yeah. All right. Oh, that happened to us before one yeah. other time. Well, tell them uh, thank you, you. Hey, you know what? But I was I was uh, I was on the phone with you guys the last time you guys got money. Yeah. Oh yeah. Remember, you guys were rummaging. We're right like, there. what the hell is that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're, yeah. Like, right. like we're someone just give us beer. money. Yeah, that was oh, funny because oh, I was. That we're entertaining enough, so thank yeah. you. I, I was on the phone. And then it was so confusing because the, the, the live feed was delayed. So I had to turn the volume down. And I'm yeah. like, wait, 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 go back to that card, go back to that card. But you were yeah. already like, it was, it was like, five it was super, it was super confusing. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of good baseball movies. It's kind of hard to judge like the best. What, is it, what, are, other, what are other people um, talking about? What are they saying? Yeah, let's someone still saying, read some comments. Someone said, Anybody else in Bull Durham? Someone said, can, no. No. <laughs> so, can some, can baseball cards please reach popularity of the late 80s, early 90s again? Oh, heck no. And I no, guess uh, no, I maybe don't. the question... I don't want it to get that big. Well, why, why not? Why not? Yeah. Because if Tops and Panini just start spitting out product after product, I mean, just like, like unlimited... No, they're not product. saying like print I, runs, they're saying like, it's popular. Well, because, it's popular, I think. because what's going to happen, why did, why did the companies do that? Because the people were buying it. But because they're just going to lose it. As long as people are buying the product, we're just going to keep printing it out. I think that yeah, was like the peak, that was the peak now. of youth collecting in baseball. I, was man, the 80s I, and early 90s. That was the peak. Oh, my battery is low. Like, there were more people, more kids collecting baseball cards from, like, 1986, 87 oh, through, like, 1992, 93. You know what's really I, cool? Your phone's charged up? My, well, yeah, mine, yeah. I'm oh, damn, we've been live for a long time. Um, and oh, I think that the reason why it's not as popular now with kids is because the cost is prohibitive. It's too expensive. Do you, do, do, you think, do you think it has anything? I, I mean, I could be wrong, but do you think it has anything to do with like technology? That I don't know. I'm not sure technology because like, I think there's. Yeah, I'm like, gonna move my cause camera because we, we collect cardboard. I'm gonna move the camera. Oh, is that cool enough for? It's not cool. To, there's to absolutely is. nothing that makes you cool. <laughs> oh, <laughs> all right. Oh yeah, man. man. Footage at um, Taco Bell today. Yeah. I was like, whoa, dude, whoa, whoa. Like, Nate, you went to Taco Bell without me? Oh, man. Yeah, dude. What? <laughs> we got some footage of. Dude, uh, that's just not cool, man. I'm sorry. I know. Huh? My bad. No, we're, we're I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, working for sucks. a living sucks. Yeah, it does. I work, I work hard. Man. I wish I could but, just be like Nate and go to work and watch YouTube videos all day. Yeah, man. Call me. 
call you, call me. <laughs> Yes. Well, oh, I'm <laughs> tripping. Oh, dude. Is that like a common problem? Oh, dude. Yeah. And he walks outside. Oh, yeah. You can't be here. <laughs> that was literally like two and days ago. I hear the guy go, oh, I'm just like having a smoke. Your sleeping bag's right there. You're camped that out. Not, You're camped that's out. camping out. Yeah. Hey, dude, Eric, can you move your... Uh, Box. So I'm gonna try to set my phone up where I could have it on the charger. So, because yeah, like this live feed is going for a long time, right. and so my battery is getting. Have been on? Oh, you know what? I wonder if I could like this. Man, no one wants to look at my. Hand. Flip it around underneath the thing. Put it back side of. The We're having some court okay. issues yeah. because of the orange. I was trying to read some comments. There you go. Uh, you know, what? I'll put it around my. He's so, a humidifier. So you can... Ah, Jesus. Just put something behind the phone. Keep it from moving around. Put it on just on me. Oh, wait. <laughs> and this oh. is bootlegged, man. Oh, We're dude. getting our bootlegged on. We will engineer this. <laughs> All right. So what was I saying? Oh, so Nate and I were we were at Taco Bell. We got some footage there, right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. You <laughs> can tell. Them, but... I, was like, I told them. I was like, dude, <laughs> these people around us eating or looking at us, they're like. Are those guys look at baseball cards like and filming each other. <laughs> like, <laughs> I know. What? Huh? <laughs> Dorks. I know. <laughs> yeah, but all the hot care. chicks were looking at us because we had some cool baseball cards. Right? Yeah, that was yeah that's cool. why that was, they were looking at you. It was yeah. It, it, <laughs> it was funny. Alright, I think I got it. it Alright. The, the the footage that Nate came up with, dude, it was pretty damn funny. Yeah. Oh, man. Um, no, I, I just think, like, as far as kids collecting, like, it's just so expensive now. Like, when you have, like, basically your minimum pack is five yeah, or six, but, five, six uh, seven bucks. That's true, because I remember when, I remember I when shirt, Finest so like, came and out. And that's, like, literally like top premium pro. stuff started coming out. Dude, I just, like, that was too... Like, how much is a pack of tops update? Two bucks. Dude, you gotta look at it. You have to go to Walmart, and everybody's searched through all that crap. Not if you get a blaster. That's the great thing about blasters. Is, yeah. Well, you know what's going on now is people buy the blasters, they open them, and uh, then they put other cards in. Oh, yeah, I've seen that. that. I don't think that happens very often, but oh. I know that it does happen. Anyway. So what kind of comments we got coming? But at the same there? time, if you're buying Topps Update, you're not getting, like, the cool autographs and the... You know, the refractor. Well, I think people yeah. buy, the buy a for the, uh, for the flagship rookie cards, you know? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, because it's going to be the first appearance of a, a lot like of Like since uh, Mike Trout. Here. Oh. That was kind of the one that... Was he, like, the first <laughs> big rookie? And He was the one that really kind of kicked no out thing? off the new... Because... Um, uh, because... Hmm. I mean, update is just top traded. Oh, for sure. Yeah, you know, for sure. Um, it's up. Yeah. But I'm trying to think of who else was it. Dude, was it? No, there's got to be some. Scherzer, Scherzer was in an update set, I think. Steven Strasburg was the first one, I think, that really kind of. Strasburg. I remember when Strasburg um, was. But it was it was the it was like fired off the tops update. Was that, was, I don't think. No, it wasn't. No. It was Bowman Chrome. His first it was him. This is the card that started it all. Well, a version of the card. Oh. Ah, oh, yeah, I love this card. Man, I'll tell you what. I bought this. I bought this card back in 2012. Oh, dude. For 50 bucks. Nice. I mean, <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, I paid 50 dollars for this. Like Back in 2012. Really I could never afford this card, the, no. The card that started it all for update or trade it or whatever is the Cal Ripken Jr. Huh. That's the card that started. Yeah, but I mean, that's just because it, but this card here, this, but see, that was a box set. These are pack issued. These didn't come in box sets. So you could buy this from a pack. Like you could get this card from a pack of cards at Walmart. The one I'm holding yeah. right now. Yeah. True. So anyway. So it's different than the uh, update. I mean the treaty. Yeah. Yeah, but you can't you you can't get that card for the blaster pack or blaster box price anymore. A 2011 
Oh, now, it's yeah. It's like a three hundred dollar box of. I think it's cards. probably more than that. Because if you pull a, if you pull even a trout, regular, that that thing raw, it's probably like a five hundred dollar card. Yeah, no, he's gonna buy a five. Like you could just buy the card. Yeah. So so so, <clears throat> so Phil Hughes like bought like a couple of rack packs, rack packs from two thousand eleven update. Uh, he paid like an obscene amount of money for a rack pack. I can't remember. Did he bust was, that like, shit? Yeah, he broke it on on camera. <laughs> And what did he get? Eleven. Oh, I think he. Yeah, he didn't get nothing, man. Nothing. Uh-uh. Well, he tried. Uh, uh-uh. it was a, it was a bust. Well, he don't. He knew it. No, he's yeah, yeah. No, he's that a guy. former big leaguer. Yeah, dude, he's. Yeah, Are you exactly. guys reading the comments or? Yeah. Uh, anything good? His channel is pretty entertaining about? to watch. Yeah. He just blows money to make videos. It's pretty much. Well, funny. he probably makes like if he's, I mean, I mean, he's got what. 30,000 subscribers, so if he's monetized, he could probably make enough yeah, to pay for the break. You think so? Well, I, I mean, think if you get like for a case of uh, Dynasty, like I don't know, man. It depends how many views and all that. I don't, yeah, I don't know. That's <laughs> we gotta should we move the camera over a little more. So you, you can get the picture, man. Yeah, I just trying to uh, see the stupid cord won't let me. No, well, no, what was the first here. tops trader set? Um, well, that was like in the 70s, right? Like 72? What? No, they yeah, didn't do 72 tops, tops traded. Yeah. What? That's why there's so many high numbers in 72, because they, they had the traded series. And then I think in... Well, wasn't it just high? It was called high numbers, right? It wasn't called traded? No, they had... But they they, they were stamped be... traded on the bottom. Oh, okay. Oh, I do remember seeing those. Yeah. But then they discontinued it, right? Yeah, and then there was a test issue of some other... Like from the seventies, I can't remember. And then what? Eighty two. Eighty two was the first time that they did. It. Yeah. Someone's but, saying eighty one tops trade was the first. There wasn't an eighty one. I, I don't think there. Eighty one tops traded. Eighty one tops. Oh. Unless that's the one with. Was it? There. Oh, you know what? I think there is a Tim Raines tops traded eighty one. It's kind of loud. Oh, no. Is that his rookie year? Yeah. Because his regular tops card is has, there might be an eighty one tops traded set. That's a good point. Because I think I've seen the Tim Raines of that card before. Let me look it up. Yep, yeah. someone's saying uh, Tim Raines. I got to put my glasses on so I can see the comments. Here you go. I got the phone right in my eye. Yeah, don't ask me to read them. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, seventy four. 74 was the year that they had top straight. We guys grab a Beckett and look. I'm, I'm seriously. But uh, yeah, 74 is I'm the year. Right now. I know it was like a test issue and, and then they decided not to do it. Maybe the hobby wasn't ready in 1974. Dude. Apparently it wasn't ready until 2011. Man. Well, yeah. 1981 tops traded. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because I know I've seen the Tim Raines of that card. You don't so think about the 81 because there's. Up as tops traded when you look. Yeah. Uh, so Bobby asked Bonds 2020 Hall of Fame. I wish, but he's not going to get inducted this year. And this is his last year on the ballot? No. Oh, I guess Danny Ainge had an 81 tops traded. I know he had a uh, 81 Fleer card. I'm pretty sure. Or was it 82 Fleer? I can't remember. Does anybody else remember in Beckett when they did the Oh, Fernando Venice. Sent Venice. In the funny, Fernando was an 81 like they top draw on the cards and make up like <laughs> loose haws or whatever. Like I made one. Do you remember Todd Burns? Yeah. <sighs> so I drew some flames. <laughs> Todd Burns. <laughs> and I, like... put, I pasted them on. <laughs> and I remember feeling really bad about it. Even though his card wasn't worth anything, yeah. Was, you know, so, packaging a baseball card, like <laughs> funny. Yeah. And so, then, and then my brother Fernando Van Van Suela was in the eighty-one top straight. And he put a picture of him. These guys are talking about something else. I don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> it was, it was pretty That's hilarious. hilarious. Uh, I'm trying to read the comments. Um, now. Nate, do you remember in Beckett when they had like the like the joke card section? Oh, where people would draw on there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was telling Eric, I made, I made one. It was Todd Burns. Remember a picture from the A's? Yeah. So I drew up some flames, 
and oh, <laughs> no. pasted them on him. And I drew, oh, I drew smoke coming out of his ear. Did you send it to Beckett? I never did. It was oh, like, man, you should have. Your brother did. And then, and then my brother, he did a, um, <laughs> he did Bob I guess Mike goes in here, so what's up, Mike O? Uh, he wants to read the comments. We've been on I'll here for uh, <laughs> 105 minutes. No, they so. need to hear that. That's hilarious. You guys are working on two hours doing this. Really? <laughs> are you serious? Yeah. Is that the longest? Yeah. Longest I think we're going to archive this, too, just because it's so random. Yeah. <laughs> we're just literally hanging. Guys, if you go, um, we're going to archive this. If you go back, I cracked a card out of a slab. <laughs> and And it was like... These guys were oh, like dude, that shivering was a, that was a because it was like this 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 bootlegged slab company where they they do too way card. too good of a job encapsulating the cards. It was so, a super rare card. That, yeah. Oh yeah. Rare. I'll show it. Actually, where's my stack of cards? I mean, if like yeah, the magnetic. PSA yeah, yeah it, it looked so bad in the slab too because the slab is, so the slab is so is so boot. I hate to say it because yeah, you had to take a hacksaw. Thing. Yeah, I had to take. <laughs> And a miter box. Oh, man, that one. But here it is. 1996 Pinnacle Zenith with the with the diamond <laughs> so, in it. So I'm saying, you didn't crack it. You took a saw to it. Yeah, I took a saw it's to a, it. A, hey. And then I think, I think there were a couple of heart attacks it's a, it's while I was removing this. 1996 Penith. <laughs> I know. I, I'm i never going to live that one down. And it's freaking on <laughs> Penith. It's like Mike Tyson. Dude, we, we, we've had a long day, man, but we're having way too much fun. <laughs> right? We are having way too much freaking fun, man. Yeah, dude, we were at... I got dude, that one, we too, today. Five card shops. We the five card so, shops. Yeah, and this guy crazy. bought something at every car. I bought something at four out of the five shops, and Eric oh, managed to buy something at every... I think you bought something at every shop. I did. I did. Yeah. Spread you box. found some Maguire stuff, though. Yes, I did. That's right. So, yeah, yes, Mike was that saying... said. Asked, was that diamond taken from someone's tooth? <laughs> Apparently, Mike Tyson's tooth, because Nate started talking like Mike Tyson when he isn't yeah. in the card. It's intense. It's intense. Yeah. What? Here, let me. Show you. Let's <laughs> let's get rid of the glare. Huh? There you go. Look at that shit. It's like, this is the wear of penis. Damn. Uh, Domingo, he knows what's up. I mean, um, oh man, not um. Sorry, I I, I mispronounced the name just now. I'm sorry. Who? Domingo? Donato? No. Donato. Donato. Yeah. Donato Ramirez says, Bonds all day, baby. Yeah, you know it. <laughs> so, but there we go. There's the McGuire. Uh, to answer the question, they did show their cards today. Yeah, here, I'll, I'll show. This yeah. is going to be archived, so you can, they can go back. I'm so, I, I just love showing cards. I can't help right? it. Like, if you watch me when I go on the podcast with the essential credentials, I just start showing cards. Oh, dude, that was cool when you did that. Yeah, I just start spacing out, and I'm like, what are they talking about here? I'm just going to show some cards. Yeah. Because I don't know what to talk about. I run out of shit to talk about. I, I want to show some cards. This card's really cool. Short print. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, Eric's got something to show. But do you got the Mark McGuire Hot Wheel? Oh, yeah. With the Fleer Tradition variation <laughs> <laughs> that card's cool check out some of these how many of you guys uh in here right now are, are in the 90s insert group if you're in the 90s insert group uh, just give us a thumbs up or something but anyways i picked this one up because like when i look when i rummage through like a uh like every when I rummage through a, a bargain box i gotta i feel like i have to rescue some of the 90s cards well, this is a 2000, 2003, but I mean, it's it's part of the 90s group. Uh-oh, someone wants to know if we're going to do a video at Taco Bell. We might just do that tomorrow. I don't know if yeah, I can eat Taco Bell again, but I'll, I'll, I'll give it a shot. I, I can do Taco Bell again. Whoever designed the die cut on this was drunk, says Retro underscore fan. <laughs> So, man, a lot of you guys are in the 90s group. That's awesome. A lot of you guys use in underscores here? in your name. Who's yeah. in here? Anybody? A lot There's of people, like man. There's people in here right now. Then I got this one. Are you serious? Man, look at that. Oh, man, Mike Piazza, Refractor. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, a lot of... I, we, got, we got the 90s... Uh, so, someone wants to know how do you join the 90s group? You just go on to Facebook 
and you uh, ask to join, and you got to answer the questions or else you will automatically not be approved. But this Manny okay. Ramirez so card, man, is a freaking gem. Maybe we should stop trying to grow that group. <laughs> right. No, that's cool. Say, let's just block it and shut off. Blood in, is. blood out. Yeah. <laughs> it says, uh, it come off an egg. Man, let's see if I could. Why, hello there. It come off an egg. Man, I, you know what? If I practiced, I could get it down a little bit better. I'm delirious. I'm card drunk right now. All right. Man, I'm toe up on my fucking baseball cards. Anyway. You should start speaking in a French accent. They'll think they're watching like KQED from like the 80s. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why, hello there. Ooh, dude, so Michael sweet. likes that idea. He's like, yeah, man, practice. Uh, that man, that JT sweet, Snow dude. Black Refractor See? is cool. Now, earlier you said, I don't know why I got this. I said, you got this. Nice. Yeah. Now you remember why. Yeah, no, nah, man, that's going in my JT Snow collection. Yeah, uh, 1990s to 2004 Baseball Care Rare Insert Collectors Group. Yeah, that's a <clears throat> you know what's funny is I, I actually, it's funny because when we went to Taco Bell today, Eric and I, this Eric here, we passed the building where that group was created. I was oh, at yeah. work one day, yeah. and I was telling Eric, I was like, someday I'm going to go into that showroom where I created it, and I'm going to go right to the spot where I created that group, because I was bored at work one day. That's why I created it. After talking on the phone with uh, a buddy of mine, Alan, and he was like, I wish there was a group for just 90s cards like your Bonds page. That's where it started because oh, he was on my bonds page to Lee Smith. Ghost of Zepho. Yep, that, Ghost of Zepho. He'll be back dude? soon, I hope. That dude was cool, man. So, JY Sports Card Guy wants to know what I do. Well, I am a, um, I sell sleep. <laughs> I make sure people can <laughs> sleep. Yeah, he sell sleep. Yeah. Except if you're trying to sleep on the front. End of a store. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you try to sleep there, yeah, that's for sure. Huh. Is that a real autograph? Bam! I'm pretty. I think it is. Sure. Uh, yeah, yeah. That Eck, this Eck too. It's numbered. What? Well, hello there. It's really numbered. Exactly it's numbered, numbered to ninety nine. Anyway, yeah. So that's mm -hmm. cool. Yeah. Oh, you know what's cool? I was showing that seventy eight set off. And this is a card from the first packs I ever bought was 78 tops. So anyways, man, Vita Blue, he did not leave any region of the card unsigned with that <laughs> signature. Man, anyway, so those are cool. Cool. He probably should have been in the Hall you know, of Fame before freaking what's his face. Uh, yeah, well, Vita Blue's not in the Hall of Fame, and he yeah, won an MVP and a Cy Young. And threw a no-hitter. Yeah, and had like Psyched. multiple twenty win seasons. Psyched on baseball cards. So Jack different. Morris got in. Was that the like, game where he threw the no hitter? Oh damn! Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, let's look at like uh, and this is like probably so Vita Blue through seven through nineteen seventy seven. One hundred and twenty four wins, eighty six losses, and his ERA was two point nine four. So he had three World Series. Yeah, because his rookie year was... Um, Dude's a Hall of Famer. Dude, in 1971, he was 24 and 8. 24 wins, 8 losses with a 1.82 ERA. It was one year? Jeez. How was he not a Hall of Famer? Then he was 22 and 11 in 1975. He held out? He was... In 1973, he was 20 and 9. You know, when Charlie Finley was like... Man, that guy's a Hall of Famer. You yeah, you're my boy, Blue. You're my boy, Blue. <laughs> yeah, you're my boy, Blue. <laughs> he has an MVP, Old school. He has an MVP, <clears throat> Cy Young Award, an ERA title, three World Series victories, 209 wins. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, 20 win seasons. <sighs> how many wins did Vita Blue have? 209. And how many losses? 161. So, yeah, I mean, it that's, says, I mean, he's a Hall says, of Famer. It says, uh, he was dominant with the A's in the 70s. And yeah, he won how many? After, and probably whatever happened after his A's years, he probably, he probably didn't do that well. Let's look at Jack I know he played for the Giants, too, for a while. He was on three, he was a three-time world champion with the A's. 
72, 73, 74. Yeah. How is Vita Blue not in the Hall of Fame? It just doesn't make any sense to me. I don't get it. Like, well, I, as a matter of if fact, Vita, like 10 if, years ago, I just Vita assumed... Blue gets in, Dave Stewart's a Hall of Famer. No. No. Dave Stewart had four 20-game 20, 20 seasons. Yeah, but he... 21 seasons. He never won yeah. Cy Young, and he was a one-time... He what was Stewart's overall win loss? Career. Actually, he won the World Series twice because he won with Toronto. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that was, yeah. Uh, that was awful. Oh, man. I just, I just, I, I think Vida probably doesn't get in because he was just dominant within the 70s. And 10 year career ain't long. Enough. Ron, uh, Fig, you want to know something? My wife is friends with Jock Peterson's aunt. Because she lives uh, here locally, and my wife went to high school with her. So anyway, uh, that's it. Yeah, uh, Jock Peterson's aunt, and my wife w w was always hearing about Jock Peterson when he was like in high school and when he was making it up, and then he made it to the big leagues. So I can't even like guess who's going to be in the Hall of Fame or who should be a Hall of Famer anymore. But not anymore. Not after the. Not after. Uh, yeah. The last couple know. years have kind of. Uh, we are certainly going well, but I will say I, I thought Lou Whitaker was going to get voted in this year, so I was glad he didn't make it. Dude, because the port, the crime dog, man. Yeah, and then how is so, crime dog not in? How is that one's uh, the first one that comes to my mind? Yeah, Fred McGriff. Yep. I mean, you know, I guess I understand why McGuire's not in. You know, I don't. He, dude, it was a I don't understand why any of them are in. So we got we got some people from Utah yeah, here. So what's like, up? It's it's the. Uh, oh, Yankees fan seventy one says I love Maddenly, but Maddenly is not a Hall of Famer. You do not hear very many Maddenly fans. Um, it's this, say that he's not a Hall of Famer. It's this false belief that it's the only that reason Maddenly is the only reason Maddenly won't get in the Hall of Fame is because his career was shortened. But he was a first baseman. That's what kills him. And he never won a championship. But his oh, career was sandwiched dude, by championships. The poor dude freaking retired early yeah. the year before. And the year after, like his they rookie were, year, the, the year World before Series. they won the World Series, and then the year after the he retired, they won. Oh, man. Dude. So, so how... Uh, man, dude, that guy was... That was like the worst timing. He just was... At the oh, we got someone from the Hoosier State. That's Indiana. Yeah. Steroid users are not in the Hall of Fame because the Baseball Writers Association of America have this false belief system that at some point the game was... Clean. But, see, you're wrong because steroid users are in the Hall of Fame. You know what I mean, though. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. We've had that conversation and let's before. Not, let's not yeah. start that one again. Okay, we won't go <laughs> there. Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. Hey, Nate. What do you think about Bud Selig being uh, in the Hall no, 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 no. <laughs> no, no. Don't make no. me flip a switch. <laughs> no. Let's not go there. Uh, oh, Manteca, California. Huh? Isn't that BS, though? Here. He was on the same ballot that Mark McGuire was My on. son used to, uh, my son, oh, that's Mark. Doesn't that just like. Um, my son used to play baseball in Manteca. There's that, that field of dreams it's or whatever. Still. So. Okay, oh, we Carter's got uh, Steve uh, Carter's kids is in here. Dude, how are these people still awake? I'm barely. Awake. Uh, yeah, I know. I know uh, Carter's kids lives all the way out on the East Coast, so yeah. it's three hours later there. So there's a lot of people up this late. Here? It's only nine thirty here. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Nine. Go slower when you're in California. Yeah. <laughs> so, guys. Oh, so Tyson wants to know, do you guys do this a lot first time seeing you? Uh, sometimes, Eric, Eric, and, yeah, when was the last time two, we went live? Two, like dude. two months ago or something? About like a month or so ago. Yeah, we, we would like to go live more, but Eric and my work schedule. Yeah, like opposite. Are pretty opposite. Plus, Eric has a young son, so we don't get together as often as we'd like. But when we do, we always have a good time. Yes. We got a lot of archive videos of just Eric and I hanging out. Mm -hmm. This is the first time. Second. 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 Yeah, the Second. first time was a rec was it live? Yeah, we went live. Okay, I guess yeah, we did we go live. live. Okay, first you go. The time was when we were driving back from the card show. Oh yeah. And we had him on. Yeah. We uh, might go live tomorrow when we go go get McGuire's autograph and S Smitty will be with us. I don't know how many of you guys know who Smitty is, but he's got a museum. 
We're gonna go to the Oakland A's He's museum. Oakland A's museum. Yeah, that's it. That's gonna be cool. So He's got. Yeah. I want to see those display cases. A lot of bobbleheads. Dude, that's. I was looking at bobbleheads today. I'm going, like, man, you think Schmitty's got? He's like, don't even bother, dude. He's like. I've he's literally like, I've asked Schmitty about every bobblehead I've ever one. seen, and he's already. Oh yeah, I got that one. Got it. Got it. Got it. Yeah, got dude, it. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. So. Dude, do you know what's funny? Like he, the amount of money he pays for some of those bobbleheads, like he's like. Yeah, we'll try to go live when we're, we're getting big, Mac. If not, we'll, we'll at least record it and then upload it. We may not be live, so. Uh, I think live there's just gonna be too much stuff. Going on. Yeah. We're probably not gonna go live. Yeah, well, we'll record it and then we can upload it, but we may not be live, so. Uh, is Mattingly's career batting average under 300? I think, I think it's like right that. around 300. 289 or 292 or something. Like, I don't know. I, that's having, a good question. He's having those like, back problems. Uh, yeah. If it wasn't for that, man, that guy would and What know. caused his back crawl? I know there was like an incident where there was like a something specific. He was like wrestling or something like that. Yeah, so something that. happened and he hurt his back and he never recovered. You remember when? Uh, you remember when the Yankees signed A Rod? You know why? Because. Because uh, Aaron Boone was actually the third baseman. Yeah. He was uh, playing basketball before the season started and, like, broke his ankle. And so the A's, uh, Yankees were at a third baseman. They, they, oh, they damn. got that contract from uh, from Texas. Yeah. That was a, yeah. And that was, that was like, right after Aaron hit that uh, that home run where they started calling him Aaron F. And Boone. Wait, wasn't that against the Red, the Red Sox? Sox? Yeah. Against Michael, right? Yeah. So, so Ryan says, so, listen to this. Listen to this. Ryan says, I've noticed more people are collecting Bonds cards as he was one of the all-time best um, to do his cards still go up if he doesn't make the Hall of Fame. And I think that, I don't think people that are collecting his cards right now are expecting him to go into the Hall of Fame this year. So, but it, I think if he goes in the Hall of Fame, then you'll see a huge spike in his um so oh okay so two people are saying that mattingly's career average yeah, like, was 307. oh good i'm glad it was okay so um steve says apparently he was horsing around in the locker room and jacked up his back oh. man that i mean that that's like just think horsing so around horse. cost him a hall of fame Dude, career right? basically what about Jason Giambi? None of us in this room think Giambi's going to be a Hall of Famer. No, no, I'll tell you what. If he would have put up the same type of numbers he put so, in Oakland throughout his career. So Chris says, I'm out. So thanks for joining us, Chris. Giambi. Uh, so steroids. The th Ooh, yeah, and yeah. you know what? And he, he admitted to that too. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, so he was wrestling around with a pitcher. And then after the after this incident, the pitcher got traded. Um, oh, with Matt David Ortiz admitted that he did. Dude, I actually. Was, but he's, he says popped, fun dude. wrestling or breaking up a fight. David Ortiz got popped. Of course, he admitted it. He was. Yeah. He was Man, uh, just. To, but yeah. people expect him to be a first ballot Hall of Famer. That's because I don't think people expect yeah, Ortiz to be a first ballot no, Hall of Famer. One hundred percent, they do. You well, know why? Because they say, "Oh, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, it was a, uh, anonymous." thing in 2003 and blah 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 they it make some a, excuse for a, him because he was on like he was on David, the mental David report Bobby. i'm not going to get into that but i will say that david was really popular and really liked by um well my fans and so they just can't and, and the that's writers, why bonds is going to yeah, get in because the, 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 the writers david know they was, can't was vote popular the writers know they can't put they, ortiz in if bonds isn't in that's just how it is they still love that dude being an announcer. Yeah, I mean, well, I, I love Ortiz. I think he's oh, yeah, fantastic. Yeah. Oh, no, no, he's good. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I've been an Ortiz fan since he came up, like, when, since he started coming to Boston, and he was just, like, money in the playoffs, and he helped knock the Yankees off. And, um, you know, when the Yankees oh, are up 3 0, and then he just kill, killed him in that one series. I forget what year that was, like 2004 or whatever it was. So it says Mattingly and Dale Murphy will Murphy will get in on the veterans vote, although they've already been in. They've been. They both of them have been in 
on the Dale two Murphy era was, committee Dale already Murphy was in on the last was on the last so was Mattingly get voted in neither of them both of them they've been on two era committees and the, n neither one has been bo voted Ron in Ron Mattingly is never going to get into the Hall of Fame so Ron Fig says once McGuire gets in it's going to open the floodgates yeah. for Sosa McGuire, McGuire. McGuire, 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 McGuire is already he's already off no 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 he's saying in an era committee maybe we'll put no. him in He's so is like, still oh, on I the saw, ballot. What, right? What's going to happen? Seriously doubt it because it's going to happen. <laughs> David Ortiz is going to get in, and then they're going to have to say, "Well, if we're letting him in. We're going to have to let all these other guys in." The, yeah. the Veterans of the Committee will start voting people in. Yeah, um, because it's going to be so watered down at some point. Yeah, that like there's going to be guys on the Veterans Committee that are just like there's this guy. You know what? Now that you now now that you guys say that, now I'm kind of thinking like I've I've. For the longest time, thought like like Max not getting in, but yeah. Now that you say this, I'm Maguire Maguire has a glimmer of hope. It's just gonna take a long. I mean, he's already time. got that a bat be... in the Hall of Fame. Is that a good coat? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to find the picture. I'm gonna have to find the picture. It's uh, like a peanut. <laughs> they got. Uh, I don't think Seiko's ever getting in the Hall of Fame. Oh, no. No. Hall of Fame. no, 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 no. And. That's because towards the end of his career, he was just he, just, he wasn't playing enough. Who? Because they go. Well, he was. A, he was well, he'd he have like a good year. Season. He'd, have, he'd yeah. have a good year, and then he would be hurt the next year and hurt for a couple of years. Then he'd have another good year. And, uh, you have to, I mean, because Zinko was, he was him, an amazing player. I don't think he had over two thousand hits. And he, I know he, he was came, like I know he came up sixteen hundred and eighteen hundred I think something. Conseco. Like I know yeah. he came up short of uh, five hundred home runs. Yeah, he was like around five hundred and sixty no, home runs. Like four hundred and sixty home runs. Yeah. And a guy like him, if he didn't hit five hundred home runs, he's not getting into the Hall of Fame. Rose will never get into the Hall of Fame. Well, I don't well, think, man. They made until I mean, I talk home. about this. I don't know how many times I, I'll like say it. Just. Yeah, the writers don't was, have the option of putting Rose in the Hall of Fame. He was banned from baseball. I mean, if well, well, Clemens will get in on the same ballot Bonds gets in, or or the same era committee, either or. There's some subjects that we don't want to bring up in name. There's only two people. There's only two rant. players that were ever banned from baseball. No, I think there's right? more than two. There's two players that should be in the Hall of Fame that were banned from baseball. That's a pretty. But like pretty much all the Black right. Sox were banned from baseball. Mm -hmm. Shoeless Joe Jackson was just the only. Is he the only guy that? that would well, have been I thought there might be more players. guys on I that team that could have been Hall of Famers, but Shoeless Joe Jackson definitely is someone that would have very been a lock for the Hall of Famers. Players that are banned from baseball, the... though. Yeah, and I, I guess I saw an interview. With, did you watch that interview with Johnny Bench? Uh uh. That he said that Pete Rose actually had a chance. He had a chance to not get banned from baseball. All that all the major league baseball wanted him to do was, to, was admit. to admit it and sign a contract, a statement that says, "I admit to gambling. It was wrong." Oh, blah, blah, blah. I need to not he said, that. "I'm not going to do that. I'm going to beat this." Oh man, I didn't hear that. <clears throat> yeah, I didn't hear about even that. now. Pete Rose. Look, Pete Rose like, was a hell of a ball player, but no one said he was a mental giant. No, he's not. He's like <laughs> Seiko. No yeah. matter what he does, he somehow ends up messing his yeah. career up. But, yeah, I mean, yeah, anyway. Yeah, Pete Rose. Uh, we ought to make a list of stuff that... Plus, that didn't, he, didn't, didn't Mickey Mantle say if he had went, made his career <laughs> hitting 4,131 no, singles, he would kill himself or something like that? As many, if he would have hit as many singles as Pete Rose, I would have worn a dress. Oh, yeah, something like that. <laughs> yeah, but Mickey Pete Mantle Rose was wasn't a power hitter. I mean, that is, no, I mean you no. can't... Well, Mantle was kind of poking the fun at the fact yeah. that, uh, you know, yeah. that, that Pete didn't hit and runs. making a career of bloop singles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so who do you guys think are current locks for the Hall of Fame? Among active players or active retired players? players? Active. active. Albert Pujols. Yeah, I mean, Albert Pujols sure. is definitely yeah. a ironclad lock. Yeah. Um, I'm drawing a blank. I, can, I don't even remember who's playing right now. I'm so tired. Who's still active that... Uh, Ichiro retired, so. he, but he is a lock. He's going to get into the yeah. Hall of Fame. I mean, obviously, Mike Trout will be a Hall of Famer. Yeah, unless unless, seriously unless something happens from now to yeah, I think he'll be. I think I think 
Uh, oh yeah, Kershaw. That's Kershaw. a good one. Kershaw and Verlander. If you're gonna talk about Ver- pitchers, Verlander. In. He's Verlander. A Scherzer is getting there. Yeah. Once he gets 200 wins, he's in. Yeah. Um. Who else? Cabrera. Someone's mentioned. Oh yeah, yeah. Miguel Cabrera, Cabrera for sure. Um. I wonder if. Is Cabrera good? I hate to say it. I don't. I mean, I th- I thought for sure Posey up until like the last two seasons. So we'll see what happens next year, but. Um, defensively, he's a Hall of Famer, uh, Posey. So Ryan wants to know what do you think the chances of Walker getting in the Hall of Fame? I think three point something percent. <laughs> Whatever well, the voting's think, at right now, I, I think r- as chances, of right I now, think. probably seventy five percent he's going to get voted in this year. I think he but, should. Uh, Posey fizzled, but that's because of health issues with his hip. I mean that that collision at the plate is not, taking a toll on him. Not and to mention it, a lack of protection in the batting lineup. Oh well, that, <laughs> yeah, but that's 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 irrelevant because he's got no power. I mean, so there's something wrong with him health wise as far as hitting. Because he can't, he doesn't get any. He's got no power. He's got he's Posey, got home, no power. So I was watching. So one of the, was but he's still a hell of a defensive catcher. Well, yeah. He's the best defensive catcher yeah, in the game. Why, that's yeah. Hands so down. I mean, that's why they, that's why I mean, maybe he gets in the Hall Molina. of Fame because of the way he handles the pitching staff and plays defense. Maybe he's better than Molina. Oh, yeah. Oh, really? Defensively, no. defensively, you think he's better than Molina? Not even close. <laughs> Molina's got that like a... gold glove upon gold glove upon gold know, glove man. upon Molina gold glove. Like, uh... Funky Cole Molina. Yeah. <laughs> How about? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. How about that catcher? And I'm I'm drawing a blank right now. The catcher for the Indians. This guy. Um, when the uh, Gold Glove Awards were up, they said, "Ladies and gentlemen, this isn't a typo." But he had zero passed balls this year. Oh yeah, I, like, I remember. What? I was watching that on was MLB like, what? Network. How can a catcher have zero? Pa- that's. And he threw out. Well, because the official uh, score probably gave a couple I of. I think he threw out forty for a couple you, you, you of cast right. balls as wild I, I, pitches. I can see that that happening definitely, but that means I mean, even if it's. If you guys know the catcher that had zero oh, pass Indians. balls this season, comment. Catcher for the Indians. Yeah, but did he play every day, or was he like, like 120 game games or like 130? Like what a catcher. Someone asked about do. future Hall of Famers. I don't even like the subject of discussing future Hall of Famers. Why? Because it's Isn't that irrelevant. Kind of what we're talking about like, no, not future Hall of Famers, like guys that are like a lock. Like the only real player right now that hasn't hit ten years that's a lock is Mike Trout. Yeah, he's the only. Well, yeah, Trout's the only non ten year player, and then I think that position player wise, Cabrera, Pujols, but they're like, and then pitchers you got Verlander and Kershaw. And yeah, so that's like Scherzer, five Scherzer guys. Scherzer just need to get to 200 wins, which he's going to do. So yeah. to I wouldn't say Scherzer, Scherzer is kind of like where Mike Trout is right now, where there's no reason to think that they won't be a Hall of Famer, but they probably, if their career were to end right the second, they pro- they probably would. I don't know. No, Mike Scherzer, Scherzer, I think still Trout still might Scherzer's be. Scherzer's already been in the league for um, 11 years. Like, uh, yeah, oh, yeah, I guess he came up Scherzer, in 08. He's got like Three or four Cyan. Yeah, he came up in 08 because he's got a 2008 top straighted. He was on the tight end. <laughs> Someone said Bumgarner. Uh, Bum ain't no Hall of Famer. I hate to say it, but he's not a Hall of Famer. Mm. Uh, has the postseason resume of a Hall of Famer. I'll tell you that right now. Like if you take, have the regular I bet you Kershaw would trade his regular season resume for Bumgarner's oh, dude. post <laughs> season resume. Uh, so, because if Trout stopped today, he would not be a Hall of Famer. I, he has he, not hit ten years in baseball. I would, <laughs> yeah, I think you have to have a minimum of ten. Ten years. Ten years. Ten yeah. So he's so got what well, his one more season is twenty eleven was his rookie year. Yeah, so. This, so this would be his 10th season, season, yeah. So he's got to play this season. Matt Chapman, I would not call him a future. No, no, no. Yeah, he's not a future. He's, a, 
He's what he is player. is a guy that can throw 100 miles an hour. But he, he, he's a great player. He's yeah. A, he's a really good but player. He's a team leader. He's a, you got to make it more than got, three years in the majors. He is only gonna, the, yeah, the problem with early. Chapman is his postseason numbers aren't great, but there's a reason why. And that's because he's mismanaged <laughs> in the postseason. The, the the managers depend on Chapman way too oh, much no, in the postseason. Weren't they talking about Matt Chapman? Matt Chapman not, oh, not Matt Chapman. Not Chapman. I thought he was a, a role this Chapman. He's never going to be a Hall of Famer. No, yeah, but I'm just... Like, you were like, he throws the... Uh, we're, we're talking the wrong... And I'm, I'm over here Chapman. talking about Matt Chapman. Oh, my, he throws 98. He yeah. does throw hard. He throws hard. <laughs> 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 That's like us both talking about Will Smith, right? Yeah, exactly. Because the Giants had a closer named Will Smith, and then the yeah, Dodgers yeah. have a catcher. Yeah. You know what I always thought would be cool... Is if they both ended up on the same team and then Will Smith. Don't they look like almost Smith. exactly identical to you? Like they're both redheads. Dude, like you I know their they... you know their parents had to watch the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. They knew what yeah. they were doing. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, then yeah. You know what uh, I mean? They're co- like, come on. You know, oh man, you know that's who funny. You're naming him after. Yeah. <laughs> that's funny. I guess Will Smith is a pretty common name though. So I think okay, I want to I want to address something about the Hall of Fame. So okay. there's a lot of people saying like like Degrom, six years, two Cy Youngs, then Strasburg is on the way to being a Hall of Famer. I think people need to understand that it's not necessarily just having a long career. It's it's having a dominant a dominant portion of your career in which you could have been considered one of the best in baseball, right? Right? Yeah. So, like peak performance years is what Strasburg, Harold Baines calls Strasburg it. Strasburg is last year's season was his first dominant season. No, he's had good seasons. Career. He had like two or three good seasons before that. Like fifteen. 15, it was his 15, first 15, dominant 15 season where he where he was able to uh, carry it into the postseason. Because it's that's his that's first a... complete season. No, no, he's he plagued with injuries. Yeah, but Strasburg. he's had he's had a few decent seasons. But he's not a Hall yeah, of Famer yeah. at this. No, point. no, Strasburg wouldn't be considered a Hall of Famer. If over no. the next five or six no. years he had twenty win like nineteen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty one seasons, maybe threw up a couple Cy Youngs and another one or two. Yeah, he's, still, he's still got way too much to do. It's yeah, he's not. Hall he's not a. Right he's now. not a. In, yeah, there's no way that you could consider. That's like saying, Strasburg. That's like saying, well, if Matt Chapman hits, you know, thirty home runs for the next five years, if he hits, you can't say if that. Matt Chapman can't do that. <laughs> can hit thirty home runs. A season over the next eighteen years, yeah, yeah he'll <laughs> he's, he's and in, he's continue in. his see, that's stream what I'm saying. of gold those, gloves and platinum gloves. Like he'll early. be a hall of famer. Yeah. Some, people, <laughs> some people it's just way too early to talk about. Yeah, that's so. why I don't even like talking about future hall of famers. Got gotcha. you, and that's why I don't prospect. That's why I don't buy immense amounts of baseball cards of people who haven't yeah, been in the yeah. majors. I like to grab like one or two rookie cards of like all the hot rookies and then just call it a day. Because I'm a straight up junk. Like literally <laughs> Christian Yellow. Like I bought a couple of Pete Alonzo rookie cards just because yeah, I should probably have hey, he broke the home run record. I'll grab a couple of his cards, you know. Right. I can't, I don't, I can't just believe because... Judge only had that a couple of years, man. That's so That is so crazy, is yeah. Crazy. We're getting to the point I think where we're if you can see that. We're getting pretty maxed out on like I, I I would think we're getting maxed out on what people are able to accomplish out of themselves. Like I don't think we're gonna see 115 mile an hour fastballs. Like I think Chapman at 103, 105. Dude, I know until that to the guys in the 70s about seeing 106. Is that what Chapman threw? 106 like, miles. Like an hour. like maybe like three pitches throughout his whole career. <laughs> well, damn, dude. Still, but <laughs> still. Because I'm going to say, well, I really wish there was a, a better way of measuring velocity back then so you could really see what, well, they what Nolan would have, what Nolan Ryan would have thrown. What did they? Even I don't think the, even when in the 90s that they were, were able so to in uh, the, clock I guess Nolan like Ryan in the 80s, correctly. I mean, it's kind of hard they to, were clocking it as it passed, like as it was approaching the yeah, batter. Yeah, but it's, it's Whereas technology. Whereas now they where, clock it as it's leaving the pitcher's hand. It's not just that, but it's also... So it's going to slow down by the so time it gets to the batter. Yeah. So right, you know, Nolan Ryan oh, was sure. clocked at like 95, 96, 98 as it's approaching the batter. Yeah. Now right. add 60 more feet to that. What do you think that pitch was leaving his hand? I'm I don't sure. know. That's I'm, interesting. I'm, I'm, I don't. I don't I'm know sure the physics behind. I'm sure there's that, like, because it's sixty feet six inches. So, 
I'm sure there's guys that are trying That's, to figure it out. Yeah, but 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 there's you got to remember, it's not really basketball. sixty feet six what inches because by the time you release, you're what about eight feet in Closer front of the slab, and then when you're and if it's before home plate, you're maybe look. Looking at five feet ahead of home plate. I, I think that so. It's probably more like about forty on Netflix. feet. Fastball on Netflix. They did a thing where they <clears throat> I saw determined, that. and I think they I es- estimated that Nolan Ryan was throwing like one hundred two or something like that. If they were clocking it the way they do if now, they were clocking it the way they do now. They did all the math and the huh. It was something like huh. that, but and then like like who was it that they that that raced the motorcycle? Bob Feller. Bob Feller. And they like estimated that he was throwing like 92 or something. And then it goes further back, further back, and they're like, oh, this guy was only throwing 85. It was like uh, Walter, Walter Johnson, Johnson or something. Yeah, Walter Johnson was throwing harder than 85 because he was a significant more velocity than anybody else. Him and Satchel Page were the two hardest throwers before the 1950s. I'm going to have to watch that. I'm going to have to watch that again. Satchel Page and Walter Johnson were the two flamethrowers of the... Uh... Wait, who's talking about Judge making the Hall of Fame? Way too early. Who's talking about Judge making the Hall of Fame? Someone mentioned Mike Stanton. <laughs> John Collins. Uh, Judge has a, Stanton is just so damn Judge inconsistent. Has season in. His rookie year. Yeah. I could see so, Stanton making the Hall of Fame, no, but I could see him not. Yeah. I mean, he could be like a he Dale has Murphy type. Home runs. What? He has like 300 home runs now. Yeah, but the problem with Stanton is he. I mean, that's he just four, can't stay healthy. Four, that's okay, deep, four normal seasons for him of like 45 to 55 home runs. And he'd be and a he's a 500, 500 home yeah. run guy. But he's only going to have like 900 hits. <laughs> because the, <laughs> the other <laughs> oh, well, 500 of those are home dude, was, 400 of them are hard yeah. hit line dude, drives dude look, at, dude look at Mac stats it was like Big Mac yeah Mark McGuire yeah. has the lowest yeah. home run at bat ratio of anybody in the history of baseball even yeah. Babe Ruth he had less yeah. at bats per home run than Babe Ruth there was somebody that was trying to point that out like like they they were using it as like an example of like who was like the greatest home run hitter because th- someone was like oh it was Daniel Harmon Dan on he posts the picture of Barry Bonds and he asked like like he said like true home run king or something like that and like there's all this debate about oh he's not the true home run king Babe Ruth is oh no, or no Hank Aaron and then someone no Babe Ruth is and then someone's like no Babe Ruth is because. He had the fewest at bats per home run of any player. Blah. blah, blah. I'm like, well, actually, technically, if you're using that term, <laughs> then Mark McGuire is the greatest home run hitter of all time. Yeah. Because he had an even lower ratio. If you look, been... if you look, uh, Mark McGuire, it took him less than half the amount of at bats to get 500 home runs than Eddie motherfucking Murray. <laughs> <laughs> he took the most at-bats, right? Yeah, Eddie Murray took the most at-bats to get to 500 home runs. McGuire yeah, took like, the least amount of at-bats to get to 500 home runs. he retired with 504, so that was yeah. like his last Eddie, season. Eddie Murray was he also, barely was a hit switch 500. hitter and hit 300. Didn't he have 3,000 3, hits? Yeah, yeah, he's a 3,500 yeah, guy. Say, yeah. So that's a... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, it but McGuire had stud, less than half right. the at bats in Eddie Murray to achieve the five. McGuire only had like six thousand some odd at bats or something like that. How was uh, was Eddie Murray a good first baseman? Like, I don't remember. Yeah, he was. I think like, he was, was he, he like a Gold Glove first baseman? I don't know. I don't That's know. a I don't good remember. question. I remember seeing him with the Dodgers when I was younger. I don't know if Eddie Murray ever. Uh, I don't look. I don't remember. Excuse him me. Like I don't know if Eddie motherfucking Murray. <laughs> was a gold glover or not I do not know that he has three gold gloves <laughs> no kidding huh three gold gloves three silver sluggers he won the rookie of the year he had a world series he took oh it doesn't show he had 11,336 at bats and his 500th home run was like was it was actually at so, at some time in his nineteen ninety seven season. Yeah, he did it like barely. He in barely which he got had one hundred and sixty seven at bats. Total. Yeah. How many home runs did he hit in ninety seven? Seven. So he. 
Wait, That's probably why he played in 97, just to get he that 500th home run. Yeah, for sure. No, he had see, three home runs in that. That's 97. exactly what Oh, he only hit three? Yeah. So, so he, he was, was already in the 500 home run club. He was already in the 500. Why would, I wonder why he played that he last year. Wanted, he probably just wanted to play like Ricky. Yeah, maybe Ricky, so. I guess he just loved playing when, baseball. Remember when Ricky was playing semi-pro? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he wasn't even playing with a team affiliated with Major yeah. League Baseball. He was, he was playing in some independent league. Yeah. Mark McGuire had six thousand one hundred eighty-seven at bats, but but he got his home runs. yeah he got his five hundredth home run like somewhere in the five thousands though. Yes, that's true. Yeah, because yes, he right. hit, he hit five hundred and uh, what uh, eighty-three home. He hit runs his five hundredth home run sometime in his nineteen ninety-nine season. Yeah, that was a complete shocker to me when he retired at 583. I know. I was like was, so irritated. Well, I, was I was like, like dude, he's going he's gonna to hit 600 next year like pretty easily. Yeah. Just as long as he doesn't get hurt. But he was having health issues too the year before he retired. And he said that he, he gets that, to... That's what it was. I, I was that and he wanted to... As long to, as he stays healthy. Yeah. That was, he that just was... was I don't think he was feeling very good. That was the thing. His body was breaking through, down. Through, uh, most of his career starting at about uh, 90... One. Yeah. Yeah. He had some tough years. Yeah. Battling injuries. Alright. Do we want to call it? Yep. We're gonna we're gonna call it a night. <laughs> How long was that? How long did we stay on? Uh we've been on for a hundred and forty six minutes. <clears throat> really? That's it? Yeah. Uh, that's, that's like okay. a little over two hours. Yeah. That's crazy. I think the longest anybody in the community has been on, I heard somebody was on for like eight hours or something, but they were selling cards. Oh, yeah. But still eight hours, is, that, that's that got to be. Anyways, guys, thanks for um, hanging out. And uh, I don't we'll see, know what, we'll what to tomorrow. say, except that we'll see your, your good team. night. Oh, yeah. Nah, dude. Oh, yeah. Huh? Okay. <laughs> here, I'll, I'll bust this thing out here. All right, guys. So until next time, as happy always, happy collecting. collecting. <laughs> oh, man.